Repeat what you just said. I said that you're a fool. A fool at 40 is a fool forever. So you're a very big fool. Thanks. Now let me tell you about fools. Your grandparents named your father Chinwoba. But instead of him to acknowledge that all wealth comes from God and belong to him, he chose to perpetuate evil and wickedness. And what's the punishment? Poverty and frustration. But God, in his infinite mercy, chose to have pity on him and gave him children. But instead of you and your sister to caution him, you decided to stand with him. What's the result? More poverty and frustration. Fools. Oh, you are so fat. I thought you had something important to say. 
God, I've just wasted my precious time that I'm never going to get back listening to a very big fool like you. See, because I let me beg you, please continue with your God-given talent of walking the breadth and length of this village in every direction and in no direction and no fear. Wait. I refuse to be dismissed. People actually pay me for this kind of lecture, but out of my magnanimity, I have chosen to offer it to you free of charge. Do you think your father is poor because he's a Pamwenta ban? Ban. No. It is his destiny. Oh, you were still very young when Okatibe died. He was a palm wine tapper of immense artistry. But God blessed him with abundant riches because he was a good man. So tell your father to change and you change so that you can have some good things in your family. You are dismissed. Don't insult my father. Don't even dare insult my father. Ah, look at you. Just take a very good look at yourself. Look at who is insulting my father. Do you know my happiness? My happiness is that the whole world, everybody in this village knows that my father is better than that stupid old fool you call a father. Stupid man. Hey. I won't argue with you over how useless my father is. But we all know your father is a poisonous caterpillar who does not hesitate to sting anybody he hugs, friends and foes alike. When I look at you, all I see is a bobo, a big spiky caterpillar looking for unfortunate people to hug. Because I think you're stupid. You are dismissed. You are, you're foolish. I accept. But change. And tell your father to change. Your stubbornness and pride are way too much for a buffoon like you. Got it? You don't have sense. You're, you're a fool. You're a fool. You're, you're, you're stupid. God punish you. They are punish your generation. You're insulting my father. A grain of meat or a piece of meat. Eh? Or something that just find its way by accident to your soup. It's a piece of meat. I just have to you the quantity and quality of food I could cook with the amount of money you gave me. That is blasphemy. To say that this thing, meat, is commensurate to the amount of money I give you is blasphemous. It's scandalous. Look at you, I have told you that without number. Do not give me, serve me food as soon as you're serving food to, to, to a shrine or a small deity. Neji Baja. Women. A man who expects his goat 
to give birth to a girl is a very wicked village dead. And that is exactly what you are. How much did you give me when I was going to the market? How much did I give you? How much? Look, let me tell you, this is the first and the last I will have grains of, of, of a distant or mashed meat. You serve it to me as... You're eating it. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you very much. It's all right. <laughs> I like it. Uncle, what are you doing? Hey, I'm going to make a new one. What are you doing with the tumor? Huh? Uncle, I want you to answer to my greeting. Ibu, I'm going to. Yeah. Go inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's in that bag? Uh, 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 it's a little gift I bought for her. You bought gifts for my daughter? Chumba no day. Can you say no day? No, why you buy gifts for my daughter? Uh, uh, my friend's daughter is getting married. And I bought a little gift to, to show her that we are proud of her. How has that become a crime? It is a crime. You cannot be more proud of my daughter than the father. Yeah. If there's any gift to be bought, I, the father, should buy the gift. By the way, how did you come about a uh, good uh, 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 marriage? Who told you? <laughs> you think I wouldn't find out? Hmm? You want to go to your in-laws and, and, and bring all the gifts you, they would give you and enjoy it all alone? Eh? <laughs> Amadio, have me break your neck if you try it. Jehovah, are bound up. I hope that thing is for me. Yes. Yeah. Maybe I'm, that's yeah. what you should have. Instead of leaving the visit, I hope you don't didn't adulterate this in. Because you know me, I normally take the other. Ekweme, you will know how to make someone angry. The way you are talking, one would think that you 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 actually paid for the drink. What are friends for? Where's my tire? Please, 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 I'm sorry. I'm begging you, don't do this. Don't do this. Please, I'm begging you, don't. Get your ass up, man. You know I can pour fuel on you right now and set your ass on fire, right? Or maybe I just start shouting and people gather and burn you like the common thief you are. I know. I know you can, please. But I don't want to die yet. <laughs> you don't want to die yet, right? But you're getting yourself engaged in criminal activities. Huh? Now where the fuck is my tire, old man? I'm begging you, my son, please. Don't kill an old man, please. Please. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You are indeed an old man. Forgive me. Are you okay? You good? It seems like you're playing on my intelligence, man. Aren't you? I'm asking you about my tire and giving me this cock and bull story. Why, man? Please. Now listen, boss. Um, if by this time tomorrow you don't have my tire, you're going to wish you were dead, man. <laughs> I promise you. Tomorrow I'll get your tire. You promise me? Yes. Tomorrow, boss? You're going to have my tire? Yes. Nice hat, man. Hmm? You're going to get my tire by tomorrow, right? Yes, I will. <laughs> you look good, man. By tomorrow, nigga. I promise I will. I will get it by tomorrow. How can you say I never listen to you? Am I deaf or something? And yet you are not going to push me to steal. Did I ask you to go and steal? Did I ask you to go and steal an here? If you had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this argument now. Mishak, I am asking for common, ordinary 45,000 naira to buy a piece of clothes for a shwebi. And yet you are telling me that I ask you to go and steal. Mishak, you lie. You lie! I have said it several times and I am going to say it again. I don't have 45,000 naira to give you for Shibi. I don't. Mishak, you are blabbing. You are blabbing. You must give me that 45,000 naira today. Come on, mother, one of this house.
house today, more than one! When you get home? When you who die? Joam. When you this is my house. It's a good roof over your head. I put food on the table. I meet your demands according to what I have. You are not going to push me into robbery with your stupid demands. It is not possible. Possible. Mishak, it is very, very possible. You know what? It is very, very possible. God will not allow you not to give me that money today. He will not allow it. Mishak, you must give me that 45,000 naira today. Today is the last day for us to bring you 45,000 naira. And here you are telling me you will not give it to me. You must give it to me today, oh. Have you heard it? You can hear me today. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Can't you learn to cut your cloth according to your size? So now, something is not wrong with me, eh? Kwa? eh? Something is not wrong with me because I'm asking for common 45,000 naira, Mishak. Are you listening to yourself? Of course I am listening to myself and I will appreciate it if you will listen to me. Mishak, hey, today, you must give me that money today and now. <laughs> I am not going to kill myself for you. And if that is your plan, count this as a loss because you have failed. Go find someone else to kill, to send to an telegram, not me. Hey, dear mama, how can I possibly send you to an early grave, eh? How can I kill you when you not give me the 45,000 naira I'm asking you from my mama? Keep on my way. I can't kill you now until you give me that 45,000 naira and you must give it to me today. Hey. When you're mad. You are crazy. You are raving mad. Now get your hand off. Do not see madness. Get your hand off. Do not see. Ah! Ah! Are you mad? Are you crazy? Are you mad? The thing is empty. <clears throat> Bad man, bring drink for all my friends. I will pay. I have money. Looking for what's your kind of dinner again? It is you can drink down Nigerian breweries. Okay, okay, look at up. Okay, listen, we have a finished business. So. My happy hour. Leave home. I'm not even interested. Listen, okay, okay, we have a finished business. Even if you, why are you taking unnecessary risk when you know that you're going with such an amount? Yeah, take a risk in public. Look, if they take your life. I will go back, bring that to your life, put it to you. But you pay me my money, you cannot begin to go to hell. Bien, how can you? Come. Chimoba. Don't, don't, don't just call my name. Don't just call my name. Don't call my name. Oh. I asked you to follow me. 
And instead of you following me, you, you, you said you are going back to check that, that, that idiot who, who talks to somebody anyhow. Oba, though Okanu may have taken a bottle too many, but you and I know that it's not the drink that he has taken that's making him vomit. What, what are you talking about? Oba, that man is owing me money. If he dies, I am going to come to you. I am going to pay with the money he's owing me to the last couple. You know? Huh. How does somebody owing you concern me? Huh? Oba, go and whatever you have done to him, now go and do it. I never let go go go. That man is owing me money to the tune of over 100,000. Huh? And if he dies now, I'm going to come for you. He got found that side of me. Do, do, do you know how many, how many people that man bought uh, Pawine for? Who bought it? Huh? When I asked him to buy Pawine for me, he opened his dirty mouth to tell me that his money is not meant for community service. That's what that man told me. Huh? How can you talk to me like that? Did you say it was my drink for people? Uh -huh. What can you mean? <laughs> so what can you is owing me that kind of money and he has money to go and buy drinks for people without even paying me back. Oh yes. Look, Oba, I don't care what happens after he has paid me my money. But whatever it is now, go and don't do it. Let me collect my money. You can do away with him the way you like after that. Now what are you driving at? We're wasting time, Oba. Oba, if that man dies, you know, you're going to you're going to be in serious trouble. Look like water. Maybe water. There is the girl. Bring it for my friends. Point below. You hear me? Bring it for my friends. Point below. You hear me? No, I can't do it. No. You are not going to You are You embarrassing my customers. Not to impress no gossip for beer parlor. No. Leave her, leave her, leave her. She say to drink three jugs of pan wine and play. Leave her, don't knock. This is your pan wine, I'm be round one can knock. When you call drink three again, I can conk. Leave her, leave her. Leave her, you go wake up. Why are you people sitting there? Somebody is dying and you are there laughing. Let's take him to the hospital. Let's take him to the hospital. I'm happy, I'm happy. Chalo, chalo. Get up. Uh, what is happening? No, what is happening? My money is happening. Get up and go and check me. Get off the one bottle. Take one bottle. So okay for you. Okay. So it still remain in your pocket. Come on, before you take that you one bottle, go come and give me my money. Now, 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 now. In fact, I'm not going to take the risk like you. I'm following you. Come here, Leo now. Don't do this to yourself. You see me in a judge. Somebody like you. <laughs> Any questions? I don't have a question. Good. But I want to make you understand that you're making it very impossible for these girls to get married. What matters is for them to be happily married. Onega, I will try to ignore your ignorance. My happiness is that. These girls are matured enough to know that what I'm doing for them is in their own interest, for their own good. I don't understand how any man will be willing to marry either of us after he must have seen this list you've made. That's because you don't even understand anything. You are still too young. You see, you children of these days are always in a rush trying to do things expensive, expensive, you know, in a very, very fast, fast way. That is not the way. I am trying to place value on you. I'm trying to elevate you to that place where any man sees you and would you want to be a wretch or to be treated in the house of a man as if you're a wretch? No, oh, no, 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 no. That is not what I want for my children. I want any man that is going to take any of my girls to look at my girls with that care, that fear. With that dignity, people of quality, that's what I want to come and they ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. I want them to look at you the way a big man will look at his most expensive car. You know they don't joke with them. They are always cleaning them. They, that is what I want. Thank you, Papa. Shut up! Shut up your mouth. Oh, 
So you now compare my daughters to cars? I put myself my daughters are now cars, they put me. My daughters are now are not cars. Oh. Neka, shut up and sit down. If you don't have anything hey. to say, shut up. That much I think you can do. Please don't be deceived by this thing that she said. Your father doesn't hate, hate you. I am trying to do you good for your future. Probably within that period, I might not even be living again. So who's going to protect you? But that value where I've placed you is where anyone is going to take you. That's what I'm telling you. Why are we looking for poverty? Listen, a poor man can come to his house and he doesn't have money to go and paint it and all that. He will put all kinds of posters and wallpapers, the torn and the good ones. Even the ones that the religious one to cover it so that it will look beautiful. But a big man, somebody of quality will not do that. He will go and buy the most expensive uh, paint and paint his house. You will even be marveled if you come into that place and see the paint. You will shut up. That's where I want my daughters because that is where you belong. What has that got to do with the fact that you're making it very impossible for these guys to get married in Pueme? I'm not making it impossible for these guys to get married. I'm making it impossible for wretches to come and ask for my daughters and demand marriage. I'm making it possible for my daughters to enjoy their future as people who have been elevated. I'm making it impossible for people to trample on my girls. That is what I'm doing. How much did it cost you to marry me? Please, this, this discussion is over. No, 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 it is not yours, Answer me, how much did you cost you to marry me? It is closed. Good night, everybody. Okay, fine. Let me go. You can stay here. I'm following you. Have a good night. I'm following you. I have thought about this. And I think the best thing to do is to pay that young man a visit. Oba. Young men of these days do not want to end anything. They will always look for shortcuts to everything. And any man who allows his daughter to be married through shortcut by any young man is in trouble. How do you mean? Think of this. Oba, a young man who married your daughter through shortcut will want to get everything from that girl through shortcut. Even respect. They will not like to earn their respect. They will like to force it. If your daughter doesn't begin to, you know, have a, 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 a double mind about giving him respect by force, you know what the result? We use her as punching bag, bruises, black eye. And that is to call you a moron for allowing your daughter to exactly what you do. So that young man calls me a, a moron. Hey. It's even worse than calling you a I, I, I will certainly pay him a visit. It's more than calling you a I must pay him a no, visit. No, no, sit down. Oba, Oba, let us pay him a visit. Keep your shirt. Hey! If I don't want your money, I'm going to take it. Young man, this is a shortcut. Uh, Uzoma. <laughs> you know I took some loan from uh, Kweme. Uh, Kweme to... to uh, for my rice cultivation. Uzoma, that loan is due for repayment too. And if I don't repay that money, a QME will take my land. But you see, that is not even my problem. It's not my problem. He can take the land. Uzoma, I need some money. I need some money to maintain myself. I need some money. Okay, I know you just told me a pathetic story. But before I tell you to accept my sympathies, look at me. Do I look like a, a, a money lender to you? Huh? Eh? I know you don't have. But, um, you see, I know that um, there was a time you were accused of uh, selling some people's tire and replacing it with old one. Eh, Uzoma, I was thinking that if you and I can team up and do some business, Eh? Then you and I will have money because I know you and I need money. What kind of business? 
What kind of business I, Uzoma, will do with you? Uh, Uzoma, I was thinking that you have some tires for sale. Uh, then if you do, I can go and sell them. And then you and I will make some money. You know you, you need money like I do. Okay, Anu. Okay, Anu. If I hear one more word from you, I will vulcanize your face. Okay. Uzoma, what is the meaning of this now? Eh? What is the meaning of all this? Oh, now. Now I want you to see how it feels when somebody holds you around your neck. Oh, that is exactly what happened to me a few days ago. Me eh? Because I was listening to criminals like you. That is why I got caught up. Now leave me now. Leave me now. Eh? Before somebody thinks I stole something from you. You think I'm playing with you? You think I'm joking with you? You think I'm joking with you? You're always in a hurry. And that is why you make a lot of mistakes. Why are you always in a hurry? Think down, calculate certain things before you say it. Nature, one man, I think that's. Mamba, mamba, kiss you. Okay, that was. Okay. Always cool down when you want to do things. Okoro. Equipe. Hi, you're welcome. No, no. Thank you very much. Let me go straight to the point. I don't want to waste anybody's time. <laughs> this one, you're sounding like somebody woke up from the other side of the bed. Uh, there's no cola on the table, though. But you can have some palm wine, huh? Please sit down, sit down. Fine, sit down. I can take sit down. But you are not going to touch the palm wine. Because he said he wants to go straight to the point. I like people who like to go straight to the point. Now go straight to the point and forget him. Okay. Equeme. My son came back with the list of marriage requirements you gave to him. I found it totally outrageous and uncalled for that you could be such greediness. I personally came to ask you, you Ekweme, if you are giving out your daughter's hand in marriage to my son or you are selling her to us. Now, if he had taken this drink, he would have paid for it. I have had you. Now let me go straight to the point too. Your son cannot afford to marry my daughter. K O E D. So, think over what you are going to do and then go straight to your house. Or you go straight to another point that is interesting. Look at mine. Equipment, this is marriage. And tradition has made it open to healthy negotiations. So, Koro, you can even talk in low tones. You have mellowed down now. You come in here vibrating like a woman. You want to carry my cho 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 canadian wine. You want to take my daughter away in a masculine fashion. So you could mellow down like this. Well, let me go straight to the point. Your son cannot afford to marry my daughter. Your son, I gave your son a list. He can't afford what is on that very list. How is he going to take the challenges of what will be in the supplementary list? You have supplementary list. So you think that that list I gave to him is all? Hey, back and move on. That is the list for the main project. The other one is the periphery, the beginning of the project. Supplementary list, guy. That's where the whole project is. So let me go straight to the point. In our water. They have the job of the one million come over some now. Each one in one. You don't have anything that is going to look on a beacon. You know, that I thought I want to talk. How long will I continue to jump out of my skin each time somebody walks into my workshop? Huh? Where will I get the money to buy a new tire for Oyakaska? God, I need your help. Man and tin is doing. What can you find me? Why are you back home by this time of the day from work? Where are you coming from? Call me Bukasa. Then ask that question again. Your mates walk, drive into their compound with their own cars. But you, get out there and do whatever it is your mates are doing to make money. 
Alpha Mefuna, I will not die because I have a son like you. Amen. You left this house since yesterday. God knows where you slept. Look at the time you're coming back to this house. If you want me to stay at home and remain a houseboy, I will. I will become idle and stop going to Enugu to start work. Shut up, my friend. What work are you talking about? Eh? Am I not the one that leaves this house very early every day and come back very late every day working very hard to make sure that you have enough to eat? You neither contribute anything nor encourage me for my kind, good behavior. Enough to eat. Thank God you said you worked to make sure I have enough to eat. Not that you bought me cars, built me houses, and started businesses for me. And I have nothing to show for it. God, you are very stupid. Mm? Stupid people do not remember the names of all the parents in this village who have bought cars, houses, and started businesses for their children. Papa, do you want me to start mentioning names of all the people who have bought cars, mansions, for their children? Tony, Mama, are you going to tell me what happened or not? Mama, what else do you want me to tell you now? Eh? What else? Mishak has learned to turn me into a punching bag. I will go. It's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. I know why I'm asking you. I know why I am asking you. Because I, your mother, I know you very well. I know what you can do. Ha! I'm your Sharpening your machete by this time of the day. Where are you going to? Where does a sharp machete accompany a man to? I wouldn't know because I know you've already checked your palm tree and you're not going to defy me again. So, you fail to mention that a sharp machete accompanies a man uh, when he, he wants to visit those he declared enemies. And who have you declared enemies? Or were you in any kind of fight where you're coming back from? I'm beginning to think you enjoy the way uh, that rascal beats up my daughter. Huh? <laughs> now, don't tell me you are going to fight Mishak with this machete. Eh? By the time I'm through with him, by the time I'm done with him, only Shadrach and Abednego will be able to tell his story. Papa, what are you talking about? Yeah. Papa, you can't kill my husband, no. You can't, now. <laughs> Who says I'm going to kill him? I will only lay some cuts on his head and other parts of his body so that next time he, he, he thinks of even laying a finger on you, you will remember that you have a father like me. Papa, thank you very much. Eh? Thank you very much for looking out for me. Oh, Papa, please, I beg you. You can't kill my husband. I am not ready to become a widow. You can't just kill my husband. Shut up. I said, shut up. You came home to complain to me that Beshak beat you up. And I'm here ready going to show him that no man has the right to show my daughter the kind of love a drummer shows his drums. And you say I should not. Are you all right? Are you all right? Uh -huh. In fact, I think you are enjoying what you're getting from him. Okano, Okano, there's no point to coming close to romance me. If it is about the loan you took from me, the date has expired. That land automatically becomes mine. So I'll be an old boy is <laughs> I have not come to uh, collect the land from you now. Eh? The land is all yours. Agreement is agreement. <laughs> so, Gaga, I'm happy with that. The land is all yours. Thank you. Hmm? I have come to take another loan. 
You have got to take another loan. How can no man? Well, you are a very good friend of mine, so I will not deny you. And this is my business. Uh, just go and write a letter of application that you require so so and so amount of money as loan. Uh, if you can't write, you go and tell pe people, there are people who write it, they will write it for you. Then in addition, you get one who could be very be good and um, a bottle of whiskey. Finish, you just come here. I take the tin counter stand and give you the loan. Equipment. When did all this start? It is starting now. <laughs> Things are changing. I'm a businessman. Equipment. I don't like people taking me for a fool. In fact, I don't like people, especially my friends, my business partners, treating me like a fool. How can I how? If I had the money to buy an original whiskey, eh? and then a big uh, uh, okri, like you said, I will not have swallowed my pride to come here to beg for common 200,000. You don't have money. Okay, you will go to Jukwese's bar and declare surplus for everybody. Who wants to drink, we drink. Who wants to drink? Now you're telling me if you have that money, you will be a fool, you will be a Those are my conditions. So if you don't do those things, I will be fit. Equipment. I am here to collect money. Ah, I'm here to collect a loan from you. Ah, is, it, is, it, is it not my right to, to, to know how I spend my money? Is it not my money? If you want to take it by force, man, here, here at Abugodum, <laughs> before you take it, this is my condition. Look, things are changing. Do you know the age we are entering? Things are changing. You may come tomorrow or next month, it will become a, a car. Man is a good and a better. Can become a jar of whiskey by next month and they can. So if you don't have this thing, which means you're not ready, you can't even go. When you're ready to take a loan, you will come. Equipment. You will not give me that money. I will not. I am a businessman. This is what, what have you done? So it is official. When you have the money, come back. You have the everything you come back, I will give you the money. Equipment. You are a wicked man. You will be a wicked man if you don't give me that money. I will, I'm a wicked man. I will not give you until you meet my condition. Why are you looking at me? I'm not going to be a wicked man. I'm not going to be a wicked man. So go when you're ready. The whole village will hear this. You can't do kill me with your eyes. The man never. father should be in the best position to do this. We are not going there to do anything. It's just to go there, see her, talk to her. I know. So what are you going to tell her parents when they see us? The truth now. I'm going to tell them the truth. That you beat their daughter up? I did not beat her up. And don't you dare put it that way again. <clears throat> what is it? Is that a transfer aggression or what? See, 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 see. I'm only trying to be a good friend. So don't add your own wahala to my own. Just see, see you, 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 you were talking as if if I had come to tell you that my wife slapped me and I did nothing about it, you wouldn't have seen me as, as a lesser man. But you did something about it. Yes, I did. And it's a mistake I will never, ever repeat again. 
Uche, see, I love, I love Oninia so much. But nothing in this life prepared me for the bad experience she has been giving me for some time now. Right? I just don't understand. Really? Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to scare me from getting married or what? Plus, where would they go? <laughs> Answer me! Where would they go? Or you sent your wife to come and fight me. What is the meaning of this? Take her home before I beat her blue and black now. Beat who blue and black, Uzoma? I say you're a very stupid man. You're a gossip. Okano, okay, you're still standing there watching your wife calling me gossip. You're a gossip. Uzoma, were you not the one that told me that my wife goes around this village sleeping with other men? Okano, okay, you're a liar. You even said I should quote you if I ever confront her. And she denies it. Were well, you not the one? You're a liar. Where and when did I tell you that your wife was sleeping around with men? At your workshop. Workshop. Eh, no. Um. At the bar. Yes, at the bar. That was where you told me. What? You're a very stupid man. You're an hopeless man. So you go around the whole village discussing your wife. Stupid man, you miss me at home. Useless thing. Okay, no. I, I'm so ashamed of you. If you have issues with your wife, be a man and confront her and handle your issue. Don't try to bring other men like me involved in it. So my wait. So so you think you think you are the only one that can embarrass me, eh? Huh? <laughs> oh, you did this to embarrass me. You intentionally did it to embarrass me. I can take this for I can do the same thing. Wait, 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 this is not a muscle thing, Uzoma. You, you have too much muscle. Look, Uzoma, that woman is a stubborn she goat. Be prepared to buy a coffin and put me inside when I get home. Hmm? Uh. <laughs> Despite the fact that a lot of people are suffering in their marriages today, see, this is yours. You have to do everything possible to make it keep going. See, my parents had a wonderful marriage, and I see no reason why I should not have a wonderful marriage. <laughs> Uche, you are really looking forward to getting married. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. I am, I won't lie to you. But my biggest problem today is my father-in-law. If you see the list of marriage requirements that man gave to me, I began to wonder if he was not planning to open a shopping mall. You don't say. <laughs> Hi. See, the worst thing that can ever happen to any man that wants to get married is to have a greedy father-in-law. My father-in-law did not even allow me to spend much. He just kept on insisting that I should do whatever it takes to make sure that his um, daughter is happy. The problem now is that to make Oninye happy has... It has suddenly become mission impossible. It's just that I... It's like I don't know her anymore. Vishak, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. But I thought you guys were lovers before you got married. Yes, we were. And if you're trying to, if you, you're about to ask me whether we didn't use that period to know each other better, save it. Because we did. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. So what happened? Tell me. I, I, I want to know. I want to know. Tell me. I don't know. And it's really frustrating me. Wow. 
is serious. What is wrong with you people? Huh? What what's wrong with you people? Does it mean I have no right to go to where I'm going? I want to go to? No, please. Huh? Is please. it? No, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. My knees been dead. Huh? Violence is not the answer. Please. God knows I'm, I I don't want to be violent. Huh? I'll be gentle with whatever I'm going to do with him. I will even make sure that I will cut him only gently with this matchup. Papa, you cannot cut my husband. No, you cannot cut my husband. <laughs> your husband? <laughs> I thought it was your panel beater. Look, Oinye, you came home to complain to me that Meshan beat you up. You have played your part. Now I am playing my part to go and show him to, to, to tell him not, never to lay hands on you again. Huh? You will not beat me again, Baba. You will not beat me again. <laughs> well, this is not the answer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's that, man? Eh? I'm surprised. You didn't go to work today. I'll get him. The women must one go to work every day. Eh? I just thought of giving myself a little rest today before I die for nothing. You give yourself a little rest, Ozama. You that I know or you that I do not know. Who work around the clock? You can even work 24 hours plus. <laughs> do you understand? Without achieving anything, I'm angry very well. Tell me why you are here. There is more to what you are saying. Hey, eh? I'm in dear need of some money. Now you're talking. I have known you very well. Any day, I want to talk business with you. Don't begin to rig my role. Come straight. What's up, man? Um, no problem. You came for business, really. Like how much? Just that 5,000 naira. That 5,000 is just. Okay. Well, uh, just bring your just collateral. Eh? Collateral? If we may. You mean when you collect collateral from other people that borrow money from you? You still collect from me, your friend. What are we friends for? Okay. You should have told me. You came as a friend. I thought you are here for business. Don't worry, a friend will always be a friend. Hey, what I go? What did you what, what is this? What am I supposed to do with 200 naira? That is money. You came as a friend. That's what I can afford as a friend. I can't afford more money. If you have come for business, <laughs> we begin to talk about collateral. Collateral that I'm talking, you see, it's, not, it's even one part. Now the business has changed. We're going internet, digital. We're adding um, one good and then an original bottle of whiskey to make the whole thing into a package. We call it packaging. <laughs> are you aware that a man who goes to his friend's house and a goat head delicacy is prepared for him must not fail to realize that the only goat he owns has equally been rendered headless. You know what I'm imagining, Zoma? Your head in a pot. It will look so ugly. <laughs> Once you said he's here with delicacy. I imagine using your own head as a delicacy for you. I go on your mother man theater. Because on my way, you cannot cook it until it cooks very well. Isiga, Isiga Kwala, I know you from childhood now. <laughs> so don't talk about child, uh, what do you call it? Goat head delicacy. Your own will not even be delicacy. Make why Isiga ask. Come, let us go. We'll discuss on the way. This is too much. No, no, no. Oh, why are you holding me? Why are you holding me? Oh, no, 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 Hey, you see you are not a condemned man. You see why you are a condemned man? They are holding me since from coming to your house. But God has brought you down here to my house. You see, 
I am going to show you never to lay your hands on my daughter again. Nay, please. Leave me alone. Nay, please. Leave me alone. Misha. Oh, well, let's go now before this man cut off your head, though. Give me my mattress. Give me my mattress. Please, please, please. I'll show you. Leave me alone. 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 Leave you see, oh. if you tell him now, it will be a totally different thing. Thank you, man. Oh, wait, 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 you want me to come down? You came. It's obvious from the way you still think that you will stay put in a man's house as his wife, even when he treats you as a disposable material. You came. Time has changed. Marriage is no longer a do or die affair. Has there been a time marriage was a do or die affair? Have you seen a woman from an influential family suffer violence in a marriage? No matter how stubborn a man is, he can only abuse his wife if he thinks he can do so. And his wife people wouldn't do a thing about it. Hey, good thing you know all these things, eh? I can't wait to see the kind of man you get married to. Akudo, you're not going to wait for too long. But I'm only concerned about you. Because I wonder if you'll get married at all. Of course I will get married. It will not be long I will leave this house. I will be happily married. And I wonder if it's those two penny boys hovering around you that can afford what Papa has on his list. You should be ashamed of yourself to think I will consider any of those village guys as husband. Whoever is going to marry this girl will be worth it. And will be able to afford every single thing on Papa's list. And you think I'm going to allow that bondage Papa calls a list to prevent me from getting married when I want to? Never. Kim Delim, you should know better than to go against Papa, the Ukwemi himself. <laughs> think, oh, better think. Unine, which of the things that Meshach said here is, is a lie? He knows now. Come on, shut up your mouth. Shut up your stupid mouth. Silly, and answer my questions. And what do you mean by, Mama, he knows now? Mama, he knows now? Eh? Uba, have you seen it? Have you seen why I said I needed to hear from Meshach before jumping into any conclusions? Uh, Meshach, I don't want to sound like a wicked man. But let me warn you, next time you lay your hands on my daughter again, then you will see the wicked side of me. Oh, but is that all you have to say? Is that all you have to say? No problem. There's no problem at all. You can go on and support her. Even when it's so obvious that she has overstepped her bounds. And you, Onye, you know your father will always support you in everything you do. That's why you went ahead to slap your husband. Mamarachi, watch what you say. I say, watch what you say. Uba, go ahead and kill your son in law. Go ahead and kill him. Nobody will ask you any question because you know you are always right. Everything you do is correct as far as you are concerned. There's no problem. Go and kill him. Oye can never be wrong as far as you are concerned. And you think that makes you the best father? <laughs> Mishak, you are a man. And I wouldn't be the one to tell you what to do. I will not tell you what to do as a man. The word is not easy. Anybody who thinks that the word is easy, why are you always doing this? 
Doing what? You're always covering your 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 uh, your cup of my wine. Uh, I, I, it's a, Uba is just a mark of respect to you. You know when you are dining with uh, the saint, you normally have a very long spoon so that you don't dirty the saint. In any case, why are you asking such an? But, the, but it's, it's, it's only two of us here. Uh -huh, so, uh, so, some, so why you are giving the impression as if uh, I'm going to poison my own friend? You told me there is something important you want to tell me. If you don't want to tell me the thing again, I'll go. Look, you and Ozoma are my, are my only friends that I have in this town. We are from different villages, but we are so close. We are closer than some siblings are. So if you are with me, eh, don't be afraid of your life at all. Always feel free and safe. Thank you. Is that all? Um, uh -huh. uh, Ozoma told me that you, you embarrassed and insulted him in public. So that he, he, he has never experienced this type of thing before. And that you nearly pushed him out of your house. I have told you, Zoma, whenever he wants to tell such lies, let him not involve me. Let him not involve my, 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 my lies. And he never hears. Each time you continue to call me, in any case, are you surprised? Does he know that 90% of what comes from his mouth are lies? But this time around, since all John, I'm going to accost him. Uh, no, no, let him say it in my before in my presence. Uh, I, didn't, I, I didn't say it to for you. No, to let me. Yeah, please, can, 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 can I go with your tumbler? Hello. It's all right. Don't worry. Can we chase He will have to tell me today. Then I will have a Who's Oma? Came as a promise. I will do whatever it takes to meet up with what your father is demanding. And you think I will allow you to do such foolish thing? I've never dreamt of a marriage where my husband will spend everything on the marriage ceremony and take me home on empty pockets. I understand what you're saying. I understand what you mean. But if that is the sacrifice I am going to pay to have you as my wife, I don't have. I don't have. Richie, I know you love me. And I love you too. There's no way the first achievement I'm going to record as your wife will be paying off debts. We still have time. We still have time? Is that what you think? Uche, you promised to send me to the university. If you spend everything on my father, just to please him, how are you going to see me through school? By the grace of God, I would have started working by then. Do you know how many companies I have submitted my CV to? In Lagos, in Anambra, in Enugu, even in River State. You can relax. When we get to that bridge, we'll definitely cross it. I, can, I just want to get everything done before you get admission into, this, into the university. And if I gain admission into the university, how is that going to stop us from getting married? Uche. I've told you times without number. You have nothing to worry about. My heart belongs to you. Okay. I can't risk not being worried. 
I don't want to lose you to any other man. I can't risk it. Not, um, not even those school boyfriends. What? Uchi, is that what you're saying? Uchi, is that what you think? I, I never... Uchi, is not... Okay, sorry, I, I didn't mean to hurt you. Where are you going to stop now? I'm just trying to... Why are you running? Will you ever mind your business? Only evil people run when nothing is chasing them. Up. It's your, your father too. Or, or, or is he at the workshop? Um, he just ran past this way. I guess he's going home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, hold on. Are the two of you the evil chasing him or is there a greater evil coming? Pukasa, you are insane. Don't mind it. Hey, 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 hey. Amara Mukego, Osora Hala, Osori Fobba, Osoro Biam. Bobana in Ese. In certain villagers, in certain elderly men in the village. Look at you. Let me tell you, Jeb Alon Wegulu, your father will be 100 percent better than you. Because I do I see you now. Matayego, Makoto, Mapoko, Bodo Lirunenu Kamponana. Walking from one end of the village to another, doing nothing. Look at coach and don't add value to your to yourself. Yeah, yeah, Kajime. Could you please tell me in my before how and when I insulted, I embarrassed you in public? Where you can Where, Please, can we go to your house? I just need somewhere I can relax and have some rest. You think, you think this is a big joke? You think I'm here to joke? I have told you, whenever I want to tell such lies, don't involve me. Don't even call my name. Huh? Why did you go to tell Chumoba that I, I pushed you out of, out of my house? If I told Chumoba that you pushed me out of your house, will I be asking you to take me to the same house? To rest and have some sleep? Hey! Ozama, were you not the one who said... Anyway, why am I surprised? Huh? I know what you are capable of doing. Is that why the two of you marched into my compound as if you were soldiers on attack? I, I thought you heard something that happened to me and came to stand by me in solidarity. Ah, so what happened to you? I was even thinking about self-exile. Self-imposed exile before you people walked in. You have not told us this story. You haven't told us these lies. But already, I'm doubting 90% of it before the story comes out from your, from your lying mouth. Hey, women, please don't insult me. Don't insult me. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. What happened to you? Why do you want to go on self-imposed exile? <laughs> it's a long story. Mm -hmm. uh, we are ready to wait. Go and bring seats. Let us listen to your long lies. Because I'm sure it's not a story. Hmm. Unini, one thing you should put into consideration is the fact that you are a woman. And that you are more likely to say things as they come to your heart, just to express your feelings. But never forget that as a man, your husband will often fail to take whatever you said as you meant it. Mama, I know what you're saying. I do. But Misha would always want to argue with me without, without... Mama, he would argue with me over everything. 
I'm not making wine. I'm not making any. Shut up. A wine. What has come over you? What is wrong with you? I don't know how or where you learned to behave like this. This is not the way I raised you up. Eh? And this attitude is not the attitude of a woman that wants peace in her family. Onini, <sighs> you should learn to see things with your husband and stop giving him the impression that your father will always support you even when you are wrong. And I'm trying my best. I am. But the problem is that Misha could rather argue with me over everything than see reasons with me. Mama, no matter how I place it, no matter how I put it to him. You should have gone ahead to marry a dummy since you wanted a husband you will control. Eh? I have seen that whatever I am saying here has been falling on deaf ears. Oh, yeah, you are a married woman. So I will very much appreciate if you go back to your husband's house. So, are you... Are you trying to tell me that I'm no longer welcomed in my own father's house? Ah, my daughter. By all means, you are. Ah, you are still my daughter. But what I'm saying is that your place is in your husband's house. I've heard that when everybody is telling one man to change for better, it's obvious that that person is of a questionable character. I have said it and I will continue to say it. That I should stop being friendly with uh, Ozoma and uh, Jomba. Isn't that where you're going? Yes. My neck. Jomba is a bad man that I know. He's very tricky. That's a way. He's not a straightforward man. I know that very well. Ozoma is a chronic liar. He can lie, lie, and lie to himself and fall into his grave. That one I know too. But there is something you have to put into consideration. We grew together. These are my childhood friends. So there is no way you of all people should have gotten used to them by now. Women, I am used to them. What I'm saying is that none of those two you call your friends is shining example of a good man. That is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. One nigga. Why are you repeating what you have already said times and times over? You're reminding me again and again that my friends are evil. But I know where you're going. Birds of the same feather flock together. Isn't that what you mean? Your husband is a useless man like his friends. I know that's what you, where you're going. Maneka, please, I was resting before you came. I want you to leave me to rest and in peace. That is not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Oh, resting in peace. You think it is that resting in peace? Don't worry, it is after you. Yes, I'm gonna ask. God forbid. That I'm going to die. Oh, is that what you're pre Okay. These are all your pre preparations for my death. That's all. In case I don't dance. My own is far. Resting in peace. You will rest in that kind of peace before me. So so you just want to spoil my day. That was why Iji Kuchalo and came from your house. To for me, this abomination is just a Bozo. It is not an abomination. But more like a revelation. I can't imagine the type of conscious thinking I have given to it. Egwema, God has already endorsed it. I'm disappointed. I have told you thanks with that number. You do not use this your head. This is my head. You are not making you, you are not using it judiciously. So if you are using just your head, just enticing. Scraping the head and allowing the head to overblow it doesn't mean you are using your head. Let the air enter inside the key you be. Don't you know the difference between possibility and impossibility? Before you started coming to my place, you must have known that this is not possible. So why are you vomiting it? Equipment, I am a firm believer of the word that with God, all things are possible. When did you start believing? And even if you are believing, you believe without your head. 
You cannot believe in isolation with your head. Your head would have told you that this thing is not possible. Let us wait until that miracle happens. That is when your son can marry my daughter. But this your son, whose sanity is still questionable, cannot go near my daughter now. Other possible. Are you saying that my son is mad? Are you just doing that? Hey, well, man. How dare you speak of my son in that manner? Eh? Do you want me to kill you? Do you want to die? Uzoma, you see why I say you don't. I keep on saying it. You don't use your head. You use your fist more. You are not thinking. The first thing is to grab, and then you begin to refer to your head. You use your head, your brain as a reference book. Use it to think before you act. You think I'm afraid of you? We grew up together. When I remember, when this thing there was nothing. It's like the rob petroleum jelly there, or where if I done here. So what you want to do is do it to somebody who doesn't know you. I found one around me. You see this bush, I have a lot of bush, which you know, around my compound. Of your to me, no matter the color, the multicolors that you have, around to me, Uzoma, you should have realized that. Look at the baby, I don't It's not possible. You should be grateful that I wanted to remove the yoke of having those girls grow old in your house. From your neck. Oh, I'm happy you refer to my children as yoke. Because the only yoke I know is egg yoke. If they are egg yoke, yes, I do not want impurities like your son to come and adulterate my yokes. Because that your son is an impurity. In fact, that boy should not even come close to this very Hey, where, man? Hey, where, man? I don't go on You see, you use your hand, then you now begin to refer to your head. Malana and drink. I'm not gonna shed. Malana, I don't want to leave that you remove this your coat from your body point of order this is not a coat it is a suit. <laughs> suit anyway i have come so that you and i can sit down like men and discuss man to man mm. did your father send you on errand no my father did not send me in fact I have come to tell you what my father will never tell you. But before then, a cup of palm wine. Add please. Please. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Apart from the water you poured into the spam wine, mm -hmm. are there other hidden charges? Hidden charges? What do you mean? You and I know you are nearly not evil himself. But I'll come to that later. Anyway, I have come to tell you I want to marry your daughter. Huh? Marry my daughter? Are you alright? 
Huh? I say, are you all right? Or have you come to insult me in my house? Uh -uh. I've not come to insult you. How can I insult you? Do you realize your daughter Onye is a burden to that young man? No, I... I wonder what that man sees in her. You need to caution her. Uh, leave my house now, huh? Quietly. Leave my house before I pounce on you. Leave my house. Even if there are hidden charges. You cannot kill me. Oba? Do you realize it is poisoning yourself to people in the name of Harmony? Imagine that. How could he have phantomed that? That already concluded the uh, Bakasa, his uh, 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 son, uh, to marry one of my daughters. Imagine such a platform. Imagine such a platform. That's why he's, he's a madman to have even, even considered such a thing. That's it. That's more that's it. Is that not insulting enough? Does it have weight enough? Asimo, that's it. How could you fight with your friend over a noble intention? Eh? <laughs> you people were childhood friends, too. remember? Get me. Mama. Because I cannot be my husband, though. Hey, no, no, no. Let me even ask your mother one question. Would you be very proud to be referred to as Bukasa's mother? Away from me. Away from me. Look at what your mother is going to say. If you want, not this my daughter, go and adopt her daughter. Don't even come and aggravate my, my, my anger. You know, never have you do by me. Your mother is talking nonsense. Okay, I hope you won't mind getting married to Bukasa. But you don't know. As long as you wouldn't mind being Bukasa's sister in law. <laughs> Take this one. Don't mind your father and your sister. If you don't leave my house now, you, I, I, I tell you, you will be a dead man. You are already a dead man. I don't doubt you. I know it's not an empty threat because you are capable of murder. But I'm not afraid of you. I don't know if your daughter gave you the message I gave her a while ago. Bukasa, what are you doing here? There she is. I should be asking you what you are doing here. Is this your husband's house? Or has your father decided to make you his second wife? Hey! Eh? To fear Kwagi? Madam, stop shouting to Fiakwa. Are you trying to tell me you don't know what your Agame Vadi manager of a father can do? Unless you are pretending not to know. What? Now, what? Bukasa, leave now. Leave. I say leave. I'm already on my way, sir. The world has changed and it's no longer what they term a man's world. What a man can do, a woman can do better. I could do. I will only take marriage advice from you only when you're married. Hmm? I will get married to the right man. A real man that can afford all the value Papa has placed on my head. And I tell you, if that real man misbehaves, I will call it quit. Don't you see the way Onyinye Chimoba's daughter left her husband when the idiot man started misbehaving? They are abusing her. Jesus. She left her husband. Sharp, sharp. See. Marriage is no longer a do or die affair. Gone are those days. When women suffer unnecessarily in the hands of their husband. Now, let me tell you something about marriage. Hold on, hold on, on how you're going to handle your marriage until you're actually married. Ah! What do you know? 
it's a type that eventually end up in the hands of men who who use them as punching back and footmats. It's unfortunate. Only thing both of you discuss in this house is marriage. Marriage, marriage, marriage. While your mates are out there in the university, having their education to better their future, all you have to do here is marriage. Eh? Mama, what else are we supposed to discuss about? Each time we bring the topic of going back to school, Papa always find a way of telling us how things are bad, how he's broke. Don't just mind your father. Don't mind him. I don't know what he intends to do with his money. Or does he want to be buried with his money? Does he? I heard that. One nigga, I heard that. So, this is what you do. If I go out, you gather my daughters together and begin to teach them how to kill their father and take their, their, his money. One nigga! Equeme. Anyhow you want to twist it, twist it. All I know is that you must, I put must, you must train these two girls up to university level. You say this, eh? You Period. Know. It is your responsibility. You must train them. If I had not come back, now I don't know what. God, thank you. To bring me back to change my clothes so I can look decent. I wouldn't have known that you, one necker, planned coup to kill me in my house. It will not work. Whether you like it or not. It will not work. Whether you like it or not, you must train them. You must. Have you seen why we don't bring up topic like this? Because each time you bring up topic like this, Papa always find a way of making one feel terrible. I will get married to a rich man who can afford to train me in school. With that, I will not lose out on anything. Go and get married. Because I said to such a thing, Mama, how could he? Before you know it, now he will start going around the village telling people that, I, that I'm now my father's second wife. Oh, yeah, my daughter. As far as I'm concerned, Bukasa is not your problem. If he likes, let him go around the world and say whatever thing he likes. You should be able to face what your problem is, and that is going back to your husband's house. I should go back to your husband and beat his wife? Yes. Uh, you are the one that started it. You slapped him first. Uh -huh. I slapped him. Uh -huh. He should have enjoyed it. He should have enjoyed it instead of slapping me back. <laughs> Just because I asked him for come on 45,000 there. Shut up your mouth. Look at you talking as if I was not there when Mishak said his own side of the story. I was there. Mama, why are you talking like this? Why are you talking like this, eh? Hasn't Papa been meeting your demands? See, my daughter, your father and Mishak are two different individuals and they can never behave alike. Over the years, I've tried to understand your father and that is why we have been living together happily. And I think you should have learned from that. Oh, Mama. Mama gives you money whenever you ask for it. He gives you money. My daughter, I have never asked your father for 45,000 naira to buy Ashwabi. I have never. You should try to live according to the means of your husband. Especially if you cannot afford it. This is just not fair. Oh, this is not fair. This is not fair. I don't know why my own mother will be supporting my husband instead of me. I can never support evil. I will never support something that is not right. The most important thing between me and you is you are going back to your husband to sort things out. You have to go back to your husband's house to sort, sort things out with him. I will never support you. If you want me to celebrate your coming back home, I will never. I will celebrate you for that. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, eh? uh, did you see Bukasa? B -b don't you know Bukasa? I mean, don't you know that that Bukasa, that that huh? that man? That, hey, I know him. I, I know. I know. I know him. I, I did not see him. I did not see Bukasa. Oh, Ma, 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 Ma. Obano. Obano. Ah, don't do. Ah. Why do you want to kill him? I don't want to kill him. I was only asking him a question. Look. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You know that he owe me a hundred thousand. Over a hundred thousand, as a matter of fact. Listen, time is ticking. 
You understand? Thing come, thing come, thing come. In a short time, that parcel of land becomes mine. Okwa ko bring a bring anti. Okay, okay, me. Ah, that is what we agreed now. Mm -hmm. eh? why, why, why are you broadcasting it? You, you don't know whether a thief or a kidnapper is standing by. In the night now, they will invade my house and 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 and, and, and collect the money from me. I heard that one. I heard it. Aside from you and and and, and Ekweme, eh? I am the only one within earshot of what Ekweme said. Now I want to know who you were referring to as the thief or kidnapper. Are you referring to me? No, no. Is it me you are referring to? No, no, no. no, no, no. Oba, I don't think he's referring to you. He's not referring to you. You know, Oba, you see this man. He's my investment. Listen. His father left a very huge parcel of land for him. And I'm trying to take my own portion of that huge parcel. I need him to stay alive so that he can always come to borrow money from me. Even if you want, we can even arrange it. He will come and borrow something from you. I'll use that land as collateral. You say you don't want people to be hearing it. Then pay me on time. There's something I want us to discuss. Make sure my money comes. Thank you. Oh. Misha, see, as long as a man and a woman are emotionally and sexually involved with each other, their little arguments and quarrels will almost always be taken to personal. When you never used to be like this. <laughs> it is either you choose not to see the signs or something else is responsible for it. I know it's her father. Then learn to look beyond her father. Richie, I am not living with her father. And I never looked towards him at all. The funny thing is that at some point, our fight was no longer about our problems, but about the way we argue. Like my father will always tell me, any young person that is not ready to let go of their freedom is not ready for a lasting marriage. It still sounds vague to me, but you are already married. I hope you relate to this. Which I'm tired. I really am. I hope the tiredness has nothing to do with what I asked for. I really need this money to go for that job interview in Port Harcourt. You're a good for asking that question. <laughs> See, if you like, call me a good. Provided you give me the money I asked for. Are you get your motto? What kind of a father are you? The type of father that is tired of feeding and clothing a man like you. Are you not ashamed that you're already a failure at your age? No. You should be ashamed of being a father to a failure. What do you think it is? Aha! Here they come. Your partner's in crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Birds of a feather. Flocking. I pity the unfortunate bird you were planning to pluck its feathers now. I do. Bukasa, come back. Come back, I say. And if I refuse? Oba, have you not noticed that since you started pursuing me, your charms no longer have effect on me? Birds of a feather look in their eyes, feather. And they fly. Over, what is it? Your son came to my house to insult me and my entire household. The same thing you did to me earlier. Are you mad? What is your problem? Listen, let me tell you. I don't mind that we are friends. I can begin to deal with you here now. Is that because you have added more meat to your skeleton? Don't you know how you used to be like electric wire before? When I Which days are you talking about? Just this! 
Are you doubting me? <laughs> in my own house. Tell me the word in my house. Listen. Okay. Oh, okay. Listen. Okay. Listen. Okay. Listen. Okay. Listen. Okay. Who's our man? Okay. Who's our man? You know your face is already congested. If I add pumps and gallons again, you won't have a face again. My face is not congested. So is it not congested? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. What kind of nonsense is this? Oh, but you are the one stopping me up. Don't worry. You are the one stopping me. Don't worry. 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 Uh, bros, there's no need to see me off. I'll see you later. Well of trust and friendship. I never knew that all the years of growing up together and still maintaining friendship meant nothing to women. I never knew that his greed mattered to him more than any other thing. Son, I felt terrible. I felt dejected. I felt abandoned. I've heard you, Papa. But, the most important thing right now is that your son is back. Hey, your son is back. And he didn't come back empty-handed. <laughs> Papa, your son has come back home loaded. Loaded. And I'm ready to show this whole town that I have money and I'm ready to do anything. Are you serious? Papa, I have come home to make you happy. With my money. With our money. Hmm? In any currency you want it, Papa. Any currency. In fact, in fact, your very first assignment would be to point to where you want me to build you a befitting mansion, Papa. For me? Yes. If none of your lands are big enough, then show me one that you think is big enough. I'll buy it and erect the mansion for you. <laughs> no more pumping tires. GBK. This is the happiest day of my life. You see, anyone who saw how I was pushing you and Alpha Mifla to work hard like other young men and make money like them would have thought that I hated you once. Papa, I have made that money. I have made a lot of that money, truckloads of that money. Now, you know what I want you to do? I want you to just kick back, relax and enjoy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Chop money. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, Papa. Something bothers me. Oh, what is it? Afam. What's wrong with him? I don't like the mood I saw him in. Don't mind your brother. You see, I was actually concerned when it all started. But after going from one place to the other, we have discovered that he does it on purpose. Are you serious? My friend Chimoba, he has gone to several places because of our family. But you see, they told him that he was doing it to avoid the responsibility of being a man. Though he said that our family will wake up and realize that the world does not stay, stand still for anybody.
I know you can't place my face, sir. That is what I have been trying to do. I've been trying to see. I know that this face is uh, familiar somehow, but I can't place it. I'm sorry, I can't. Please help me. Chibike. My name is Chibike. Uzama's son. Which Uzama? Uzama, your childhood friend, sir. <laughs> hey! You are welcome. Thank you, sir. You are very welcome. Look at Chibike. <laughs> Chibike, when I knew you, you were a toddler, a very small boy. <laughs> now you have so good. I was it wondering. I wanted to go and repair some of these uh, nails I just took off, just to knock them in. All of a sudden, I saw a car entering my house. And I was wondering, whose car is this? It's one of my cars, Papa. Did you say one of? Which means there are other cars. Hi. Yes. And you are blaming me for not recognizing you. You have grown everywhere, both in your pocket, put in your height, in weight, and everything. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Hey! When did you come back? Uh, yesterday. Okay. Came back yesterday. Is your father at home? Yes, he is. Does he know that uh, is he aware that you come to see me? Come, 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 come inside. Let's see. Uzoma, where's my spare tire? You've been avoiding me like as though you thought that I would never catch up with you. Now listen to me, you get that spare tire or I'm going to get the police in here and they're going to mess you up real bad. Where's my spare tire, old man? Mr. Oyaka, please, can't you see you're making noise? You're disturbing the entire neighborhood. Huh? Uzoma, are you talking to me like that? Is there anyone else with me here? If I'm not talking to myself, that means I'm talking to you. Please, stop making noise. You're disturbing me. How much is your spare tire anyway? What? Uzoma. So my spare tire somehow is not, is not, is not tangible to you anymore. Now give me that spare tire. Let me get out of this place, please. You know what, Ayaka? You're just a common noise maker. And if you don't stop making noise, I have money. Eh? This is money. I'll use money to lock you up in a police station and throw away the key. You will never see the daylight again. Only God knows where you got that money from. Now listen to me, you old fool. You best to get my spare tire and let me get out of this crappy shack that you call a business place. Get that spare tire, let me get out of this place now. <laughs> I would have told you how much of an arm robber your father and, you, and his father were. Uzoma! But you can see I'm a very busy man. Please tell me how much your spare tire is so that I can give you money to buy a new one. Uzoma, don't you dare insult me like that! Don't you dare insult me, you old fool. When you are ready, you let me know how much your distance is, your spare tire is. Because I want to stop this suffering job for good. My life has changed. There is money in my life now. Please, when you are ready, you tell me. Uzoma, don't insult me. Uzoma! Hey, God, you go. <laughs> money don't do. I know the papa again. So I... I promised myself that when I make enough money to ensure the comfort of everyone around me, the next thing would be to come back home and prepare for marriage. Mazi, Mazi, I have made money. Is it not obvious? Very obvious. You have really made money, my son. You have. Um, so I got this for you. And, uh, uh, this small token of 50,000 Naira. Yes, for you, sir. Look, Mr. Yes, sir. This for me, too. That is for you, sir. This, this little gift, sir, just to show you that your friend's son is back to this village as a made man and is ready to get married. You are made, ready to get married. That is where I'm going to render the greatest help to you. I'm on ground. Before you get married, I will make sure that I move around and get you a befitting young maiden, well-behaved girl that you're going to marry. Um, I wouldn't want somebody to... Eh? Mazi, thank you very much, sir. But the thing is, I've already found a wife. Is this how things turn around for people? If I had known that it would be like this, I would have given Ozoma the loan he asked for. Even without collateral, maybe his son would have married one of my daughters. Chai! Sorry, you, you were saying... Um, I was asking if I said anything wrong, sir. No, 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 no. What about what? Don't worry. You know, I went back. Went. Yes, 
years back, I was trying to, to reflect. I started remembering how I grew up with your father, what we were doing as kids, you know, all the funny, funny things, how we toiled to make ends meet, how we suffered. We never knew that somewhere in our life, or sometime in our life, we're going to have young men, everybody the young men, as sons, and the grown up brothers as daughters. I really thank God. God is wonderful. I'm very, very happy. Yes, you said I heard you say you there is um, you already have somebody in mind. But I'm, 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 I'm I want to sound a note of warning. You see, all the girls that you see moving around, some of them are not even human beings. More millionaire. All of them they just hover. You would think it is a good girl. You understand what I'm saying? I understand you. Uh -huh. So, before you enter into any family, I, that is my own work, I will make sure I go and investigate to find out that that family is a straightforward family. Your father is my friend. I wouldn't like you to enter into danger. You know? Yes, sir. By oh, the way, who is the girl you are talking about and who is the father? From which family? Um, Mazi, if you don't mind, sir, I would like to marry your daughter. <laughs> Which of my daughters? Who would not be happy with such good news? Huh? <laughs> now I know why Ikweme wanted to tell me the news first before to keep the wine that is so much here. <laughs> 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 uh, you have done well, my son. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes. But meanwhile, why are you just bringing a, a, a wine to us without uh, something? We need to have something now. <laughs> Meat. <laughs> it's, 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 like uh, it's all right. Chumuba. Chumuba. Yakela. Why did you do what you've just done? Shut up, Chumba, shut up. You know me, I know you. I want to make sure you didn't put anything into any of these drinks. If anything happens to that boy, eh, I'm going to wipe out your entire family. Hey, why can't you trust me for once in your life, Ikweme? Well, I didn't put anything in it. Ne, bolo, bolo to. Sip. This one. Mm -mm. Sip, sip. That didn't enter your throat. Sip it and jump back. Good. I cannot trust you. Are you now satisfied? Yes. You see, that boy there is my would be son in what am I so talking? He is my in law already. If anything happens to that boy, Chomuba, my chicken, we will finish our families, our generation. And then me and you will finish our own fight in hell. Ikweme, you should learn to take things easy for I mean, once. Eh? Uh, it's just for me to tell you. Hey! Put a smiling face, can you really suspect? Adiabu. Omwe, omwe, omwe. Yes. Thank you. Oh. All right, cheers, huh? Bukasa, Bukasa. I can't know, man. You're welcome, sir. Bukasa. <laughs> you are already wearing your suit. Yes. Mm. Uh -huh. I'm going to pick up my employment letter. Bukasa. <laughs> <laughs> Where is your father? Hmm. I hope he hasn't told any other lie against you. Hey, no, I don't have any problem with your father. I don't. I, you see, I was just passing by and then I, I decided to come and pay him a visit. <laughs> How can I? Never heard anywhere in the world where people go on social visits in the morning. In the morning. Why don't you go out, work, and a living? 
Mukasa. Shut up. Will you limit this, your madness to your generation? And leave lies for the likes of my father and his cohorts. You think I don't know why you came? I know. I know. You have heard. You have seen. That my younger brother is around, so you have come like a hawk. But I tell you, instead of you to tell me the truth, you came pretending to come on a social visit. My father is not around. Chibike. He's out of network coverage. So go home. Go home. Bukasa, watch your tongue. Watch your tongue. Ah, what is wrong with this generation? Bukasa, instead of you, you to work hard like every other young man in this village. Bukasa, you readily embrace madness. Hmm? Thinking that it will remove that uselessness from your blood. But it won't. Akano, worry about your generation. Don't worry about mine. Your generation. Wicked, 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 evil vampires who poison people and let them spend all their money in the hospital for killing them. Your generation. Your father left a lot of land for you. Land? Land. I will be alive. I will stay here and see what you will bequeath to your children. Land. Bukasa. Bukasa. Allah de no de no de. Allah. 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 Allah de no de There's a wise saying that what an old man sees sitting down, a child cannot see, even if he climbs on top of the tree. To an outsider, it might look like I don't want my daughters to get married because of the way I've been trying to guide and guard you. A lot of people have accused me of that. But I'm happy that finally I'm about to be vindicated. Okay. What happened? A rich young man came here and indicated interest in being my son-in-law. Ah, Papa, this is good news. Beautiful news. Gladman news. This young man is ready to marry. You know why I said that? Because he agreed to pay everything. Anything I put on the list is ready to make sure that all those things are provided. That is somebody who wants to marry. You see, when I keep saying these things, I don't want my children to go into poor homes where you go and suffer. If somebody is ready to do anything, all the marriage rights, then that person is the person who is ready for marriage. That was why I was doing all I was doing. This young man is GBK. My friend's son, you know my friend Uzoma, that's the son. And he specifically said he wants Gendelis and the marriage. Yes. And I was very happy that people will not begin to pour saliva on me that, oh, you are not interested, and particularly your mother. I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm caging you people, I don't want you to marry. This is the result. Now, this is the crunch of the matter. You see, I planned this thing over a long period of time because I don't want you to suffer, like I said before. I wouldn't want anybody 
from this family or even from outside to think of or even conceive thinking of putting spanner in my works because that person has me to deal with. I don't want any objection. Let us see and enjoy what God is about to provide for this family. Okay. Afam, there is need for you to be productive. I'm sure you know that. As my elder brother, I shouldn't be talking to you like this. I shouldn't be telling you these things. But the present circumstances forced me to do so. Thank you very much. You don't need to thank me. What you need to do is to stop parambulating the entire length and breadth of this village. Yes. You know, I told Udeme Usumi that, you know. I told him that if... Anyway, let me leave that one and tackle the issue you have just reached. Come, Chibike. Is it because you have money you now think you can instruct me on how to live my life? I am not telling you how to live your life. I am only telling you how to make your life worth living. I how know you don't life. need to tell me how to this, live. This is from a woman, and I'm wondering which of you brought it here. Uh, Papa, I brought it. I tried showing it to you last night, but I was very tired and sleepy. I intend to marry one of Ikweme's daughters, and this is the marriage list he gave me, the requirements. So I was hoping we could, you know, go... It will not happen! TBK, it will not happen in this house. Papa. You can never marry Ikweme's daughter. When his greed was making up this list, he didn't have the likes of you in mind. Ikweme is my friend. <laughs> Bam! That's the point. Ikweme is your friend. So why can't you allow your son marry the daughter of your best friend? Afam, will you shut up? You have no contribution whatsoever in this matter. Yes, sir. Before then, let your son marry your friend's daughter. At least to cement the relationship you have. You know I was going to do that with Timoba, but no, he wouldn't hear of it because I don't have money. But Chibike is rich. He's money, car. His case is different. Afam, I say shut up. Shut up! I will not warn you again. I was talking to my son. I'm not your son. I've I say, shut up. It's hey. your no. Hey. You should have told me a long time ago that I was not your son. So I will stop wasting my time in this house and go in search of my father. Hey. Shut up. Uzoma, you are wicked. Afam, will you shut up? Stop talking to Papa like that. What is wrong with you? Papa. I can only see Uzoma. No papa. Chibike, you see? In Nihon Ebu. The more I desire to respect the friendship I have with Osama and the Kweme, the more they give me reasons to do the needful. How could Osama's second son, that we all thought was useless, be this rich? As if that was not bad enough. He wants to marry a Kweme's daughter. <laughs> Riches will then move from one family to the other, while I remain poor. Yeah. Ikweme even had the effrontery to bring him here to show off and rub it into my face that he is now the father-in-law of Uzoma's rich son. <laughs> Let me see how it's going to work out. Kudo, mm. see, I don't think I'm. Eh? There is no way my father will approve of me getting married to him. Eh? 
And no thanks to your father for what he's demanding. Hey, forget whatever my father is demanding. See, if you know you want to marry my sister, you truly love her, get her pregnant. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would not want to do that. Besides, how am I sure Inke will approve of it? You have two choices. It's either you get her pregnant or you lose her to one uh, Onicha boy who just came back. He has plenty of money. Onicha boy? Who is the boy? You're not interested. Who is the boy? Well, his name is Chibike. And his father is a very close friend of my dad. Look, let me tell you. You don't have time, oh. If you want her, you have to act fast. Because any second you waste will be to your own detriment. Ekuchagum. Ona. Hello? Uh, uh, where, where are you? See, I, I want to see, see you now. Yeah, there's something urgent I want to discuss with you. No, 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 no. There's no problem. Okay, okay. I, I'll meet you up there. Ah. Ah, ah. Hey. Chibigel, it is your duty as a child to listen to your father. There are some things I'm not supposed to tell you about the women. But as someone Papa, who knows... Papa, this is not supposed to be an issue. If there is something you know about Ikweme, by all means tell me so that I can confront him and we'll sort it out like real men. So if I tell you things about Ikweme, will you ask him? Why not? Don't be a fool, my son. Afam, talk sense into your brother. Let him know there are serious consequences for the kind of stubbornness he's exhibiting. He's your son. Talk to him. I'm on my way to go look for my father. What did you say? Talk to your son. Afam. Hmm? Where are you going? Hey. Chibike. Didn't they tell you? If you don't know it, know it now. It is very rude to get distracted when you're discussing with your father. Leave me out of this. Continue your conversation with Ozoma. My son, you are making a very serious mistake. I need you to reconsider. Papa. Ikweme is greedy. I accept. But if that is the only reason you do not want me to marry his daughter, I cannot accept it. Because almost all of us are greedy. Yes. So I need a better reason if you do not want me to marry his daughter. Give me a better reason. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do to make your father change his mind. If I had my own money, I would have sent you to the university a long time ago. Eh? But I don't know if your father could. I don't, I don't know. If your father could change his mind. I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know the kind of advice you're giving to her. I don't even want to know. But I have made my own point very, very clear. Anybody that should stop or should make GBK to change his mind, that's not what we are saying, no. I don't even want to know what you are saying. I am trying to make my own point. Do you understand? I have worked for this very thing and I needed to take the fruit of my labor. And nobody, none of you, can stop it. And look at you. Such a rich young man is coming for your hand in marriage. He named Messina Senya. Eh? This is an opportunity of a lifetime. And if you make me lose out in this, I will kill you. Hey, Papa, I was only. Also, take this. 
Go to Chungumba's place. Tell Chungumba I need one gallon of palm wine, fresh palm wine tomorrow in the morning. You understand? Tell him I don't want the thing adulterated or even diluted. In our water, not in any. In fact, let him not add any water. Okay, fine. Are oh, you good? No, he not say good. Come, come. Tell um, Chungumba to bring it himself tomorrow in the morning. You know? Okay. Do you want a poor in law? What is wrong with you? I want a rich in law, but it's not like that. What is the yeah? You're talking about school, going to university, going to university. Let me tell you, those people you say they go to university, they after going to university, they will grow themselves out of marriage market. They will now begin to look for a boy to marry. I think they tell you. yesterday and you were not around. And you so impressed my father that he can't wait to see us get married. Whoa, calm down. Calm down. I, you don't seem to be happy. And whatever is the reason for your anger, I apologize. Because it's not my intention. Okay? I intended to talk to you before I... Chibike, just leave me alone. I'm not interested. Okay, I'm, I'm not asking you to be my girlfriend. You think I'm dumb? No, honey. I think you're smart. I know you're a smart girl. But I'm talking about marriage here. You want to marry me? After you have dated Akudu and dumped her, you were even coming after me while you were still dating her. And you... And, and you turned down my advances, just like you turned down every other guy. Beautiful. That's what wife materials are made of. Come on, I'm not interested. If you want to get married, Akudu is still single and ready for marriage. You can go get married to her. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing I promise you, if you marry me, I swear to God, I will make you the envy of all the girls in this world. Every girl. I swear. Why is it that children of nowadays will always choose to ignore their debts even when you point it out to them? Imagine Chibike. How old is he that he has decided to chase marriage as if women were going extinct? Ozama, I've been thinking about what you told me, going around and thinking. Did you just call me Ozama? Is that not your name? Anyway, I have come to the conclusion that you are a kidnapper. You are mad. <laughs> you are mad. I'm not mad, mind you. I've decided to report you to SARS. I'll tell them you kidnapped me. I'll report you to anti-terrorism squad, to the JTF and the Boy Scouts, Boys Brigade, the Civil Defense, and the Salvation Army. I'll tell them. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Clem the Lim. Sir? What are you doing here? I was actually on my way to your house. My father asked me to give you this for you to get him fresh palm wine tomorrow and bring it to him yourself. Ah. He also said you shouldn't add water to it. You were going to bring this to my house, eh? After both of you have uh, finished your love love here. Eh? Or are you going to give it to me right here? Whichever one. Come on, go and get, drop this thing in my house and, and, come on, I said, go, you can't come here. And you, young man, if you want to talk to a responsible girl, you go straight to her father's house, instead of holding her hostage here by the roadside. Do you hear me? Okay, you be very careful. I say you be very, very careful. Be very careful. Now go.
Ute in your cause. Ute. What is all this? You've been walking up and down, you've been pissing around this whole place, wearing my carpet out. Eat, no. Sit down, no. Calm down, no. Shaq, please, please, what? please. How please. is all this going to help the situation? I'm not in the mood to eat, okay? So please leave me alone. What exactly is your problem? Where is it? Come in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's so important that you wanted to tell me? Uh, listen now, listen now. My love. I have an idea. And I think this idea is going to help us force your father to forget his bogus list and accept him as his son in law. What was the idea? I don't know how you're going to take it. I want you to get pregnant for me. What? Hey, chill. Chill. See. If you get pregnant for me, your father will have no other choice than to let us get married. What do you think? She would have met me at home if she had come straight. Huh? I don't know what these young people nowadays are up to. Are you saying she did not come straight to the house? I was coming to this place when I met her on the road. She was at the roadside with, uh, with uh, uh, you know, uh, you know. I, I saw her at the roadside, and she, and she with a boy. Say it, say it. <laughs> with a boy. Yes, yes, with a boy, and they were they were trying to say no more. But what does this girl take me for? Kevo Makana, who did this? This girl does not even realize that she's old enough to have children in secondary school, and she's still laughing about with 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 all these. Riffraffs that we have in the village who never wear anything under their, 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 their gown. These boys who are always so anxious to have to damage women that they bring their, their trousers so low, low words, so that with the left hand you can just remove it and do any damage. These young men, Agmebu, this, in fact, I'm going to finish that girl today. Ngapi a wire to avoid each day. I tell this girl to avoid these young boys who have very gigantic, very gigantic appetite for, for, for sex. Yeah? I'm, kill, I'm killing that. Can you, can you, can you uh, uh, pinpoint this? And do you, did you recognize the boy? Yes, it's, yes, it was Uzama's son. That boy you came with to my house. Bah, oh bah. Look at the way you raised my temperature to high limits. You would have caused me high blood pressure. You should have told me that she, she was working with uh, her husband. Husband? But well, they're not married yet. Uh, Oba, you should allow these young ones to know themselves, to communicate, to tango, to mingle. That is the only way they will make for a very good marriage if they come together. Do you understand? There is no point in trying to, to push them around. Equeme, eh? equeme. Uh, I uh, I don't uh, agree. You see, I'm seeing that boy as someone who just wants to perch on your daughter. And then when he has had his feel uh, from her honey, he will fly away. Oba, anyway, uh, I don't know what you, you noticed that when you were coming in, I was about to go out. Hmm? I'm not asking you to leave. Stay and enjoy the air around my house. When you finish, you choose one. Hmm? I can't have my pot. Oh, uh -uh. I have to sit up. Look at that. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Papa. The problem I have with you is that you spent so much time in poverty to understand that money is not meant to be saved. It's meant to be spent, Papa. Only poor people save money. Rich people spend it. Jimike, I don't know how much money you have that you think cannot finish if not properly planned. Papa, look, neither you nor anyone else can finish the money that I have made. I will say it again, Papa, neither you nor anyone else can finish the money that I have made. Eh? There is money. As a matter of fact, you see that SUV parked outside? Eh? You mean the Jeep? Jeep, SUV, whatever. The only reason I'm still driving that car is because I'm still in the village. The moment I leave, the motor is going again. Eh? You mean the Jeep will be mine? Hey! From Vulcanizer to Jeep owner. <laughs> God, I thank you. Hi, my son. God will continue to bless you abundantly. I bless you more, Papa. I bless you. Chibike, I have no doubt that you're rich. But the issue remains that I am not comfortable with your intention to marry a woman's daughter. Ah, oh, back to that matter again. Papa, whatever I spend on Ikweme and uh, his daughter shouldn't bother you. It's chicken feed to me. Chicken feed. Right? I have arrived and I'll take care of us. You won't lack anything again, ever. Any food in this house? Food. Find your way back to the express from here, yes. Okay. No Once you get to the express, you find the bus going to an issue. Thank you. My law. My in-law. My law, what is happening? My in-law. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a kind of invasion. You see this car? Yes. You like? I like you don't know your in-law loves cars. <laughs> I like this car. I like I like every car. Marzi, the car is yours. It's my in-law, I said the car is for you. Chibika, you bought me a car. I told you, Mazi, I told you that I'm more than capable of meeting all the requirements on your list. Chibika, you are capability personified. My in-law. <laughs> Chibika, you are more than capable. You said this car belongs to me. It's all yours. Man. Then why me a car? You can't be piano, 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 piano. I call that. I called her. You're calling my husband. Look out. Yes, I called and I'm still calling and I will continue to call forever. Your husband is a cow. This is my car. But for me, by my in-law, GBK, get me this husband. Papa is not my husband. You're saying the car that was brought here. On, on your head, and you are saying, uh, 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 Ketala Chaganya. You see, we, are, we now have a car. Whether you like it or not, JBK is your husband. In fact, I have awarded you to him. In Apuala. I don't love him, I'm in love with someone else. JBK can't be my husband. We have love. You will not marry. KJ Thank you very much. My love. Eh? Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. How do we open it? Remote. Use the remote control. Remote. Just open it. From outside. Hip here. Hip here. I mean. Hip here. Um. I really thought you would be at work by now, but um... I tried, I was just trying to see if you're at home. Oba, wouldn't it be madness if I should continue to suffer myself pumping and patching tires when I have a son like Chibike? <laughs> you have a point there. God has really blessed you with that son. Yes, sir. 
Uh, by the way, where is he now? Um, he said he was going to see a woman. Uh, he says he wants to marry one of Ikweme's daughters. Does Ikweme have a, a graduate daughter? I don't know. Well, um, I don't, I'm not too sure, but uh, you should know that men don't marry women now who turn out to be liabilities to them. Uh, you see, your son should marry a graduate or an undergraduate. Times have changed. Oba. I thought in that direction. But you see, they say that a man can only force a horse to the stream, but cannot force it to drink water. Well, Chibuke is your son, huh? You should be able to control him. Oba, you are evil. You are an enemy of progress. You don't want Chibike to marry your friend's daughter. And instead of you to come out openly and tell this man you are going round and round and round. You want him to marry your daughter instead, right? Uzoma, warn this your son hey. not to. Don't tell him to warn me because I am not his son. Look at you, imagine, imagine you. Imagine you, imagine the gods. Say, talking this nonsense before every one of us, without even fear. Awesome love, 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 love. Let me tell you, the job of any good woman is to stay in the husband's place, cook good food for the husband, take care of the husband's stomach. Give the husband good children, healthy children. That's all, awesome love. How many, how many young men have come for you, as good as him? How many, as handsome as he is, as rich as he is, have come for your hand in marriage. This is an opportunity. You never know man wants it. Look, there's no more talk, talk. No much talk here. He's your husband. That's what I've said. But Papa, I'm pregnant for Uche. What? What did you say? Hey, hey, you came. You're pregnant. Hey! This girl has killed me. You can't believe you have finished me. You can't believe me. Mama, I'm sorry. Hey. You have not finished me. And you have not killed me. Let me tell you, if you mess me up, I will kill you and use that Uche. What, what do you call him? Uche. I will use his head to bury you. If I will bury you at all. I'm going to have to vlog and I How can you? I can you? Papa. So, <laughs> Imagine the likeness. With all bravado, I am pregnant for Uche. Papa. Papa. I will marry Chibike. Yes, Papa. Mm -mm. Yes. If Chibike truly loves Nkem, it means he respects love and would respect the love Nkem has for Uchi. I've always loved Chibike and I'll be glad to be his wife. I don't know. Uh, you know, you had his uh, suggestion. It has meaning. But uh, it, it's this girl that, that is causing all this nonsense. You know the two of them are stayed from the same family. If this one is this one, almost. So you can just say, you, you have always loved the two of them because of uh, what I have seen. Just make your pick. Forget about the, the, the anger this one has given to all of us. Huh? Be good now. And, and, Masi, Masi, be good, be good, be good, be good. Please. Look what I have become. Look what I have become. Look what I have become. I have come to plead with you to forgive my son. How people say when a child is beaten with the right hand, you console with the left hand. I was shocked when my son came back and told me what happened. But I believe that... Okoro, what is shocking you? There's nothing shocking about it. Your son made my daughter pregnant. And they are going to bring a new soul into the world. So what is shocking about it? This is not good news. That's good news. Yes, Ekweme, thank you for your understanding. So what do you people want me to do for you? What have you come for? You see, my son is still insisting 
that he wants to marry your daughter. Your son is insisting. You came a long time ago. I gave your son a list. I gave you people a list. You did not insist. You waited for a very long time. She now made my daughter pregnant. And now he is insisting. Hmm? Because, oh, probably now that uh, this girl is pregnant, uh, Equimbe will just dash the girl out to him. Probably that is your thinking. So that you will buy a goat at the price of chicken. Ngole will not know. I call to remain booking. Hmm? you don't have to think it that way. We should look at it as a way to clear the shame these children have brought upon us. I don't see it as shame. But if you see it as shameful, then shame on you. That's all I have to say. Equeme. Shame on you! Please. You don't have to be angry. Or on the contrary, I'm a very happy man. I am happy. Why would I be angry? No, I'm a very happy man. I think good is coming to me. And because of the way I hold this happiness, I don't want anybody to abridge it or to stop it from continuing. I want the country to be happy. So, if you do not mind, Okoro, please take this your broiler and leave my house before you spoil my happiness. And the consequence is always very disastrous. Because Can you imagine that man with two left legs calling me broiler? Uchenna, you are a disgrace. Eh? Can't you see the kind of humiliation you brought upon me? Uchenna, if I ever hear you mention the name of that girl around me, I'll force poison down your throat. I'm not fear. Papa, 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 I'm sorry. Papa, papa, I love that girl now. I love that girl. Get out of the chair, Sorry. Let that sorry constipate you. Papa. Where met my husband? I want to plead for something very important to me. I'm suggesting that uh, we allow Nkendelim marry that boy that got her pregnant before the pregnancy becomes obvious. Eh? Or would you prefer people to gossip that our daughter got pregnant before wedlock? Would you prefer that? Oh my God, see the reason why I accuse you of lacking foresight. I don't have foresight. Is it not obvious? I don't care. Even Gamdele should stay in this house and have as many children as she wants. 
She brings me low. Oh, well, I will consider them, but I will prefer females. Let her have it. What do you mean? Don't you know it is better to have children? Many children. If you can have as many as possible, that means the number of girls she has, the number of in laws that we are going to have, consequently, the number of goodies that come with some in laws. When will you change? When will you change? What are you doing here? Hey, Mazi Chimuba. You don't have to be hostile to someone who has come for you to reason together. You see, I've come for us to look at the way forward and decide on how I'm going to get married to your daughter. You? Marry my daughter? Bam. <laughs> That's the point. Hey. So let's sit. Hey. Let's sit what? We are not sitting. In fact, you should leave my house now. And if I don't leave, what will happen? Wait. Do you think this community manufactures upwardly mobile, young, handsome men like me? Look, I am warning you for the last time. Leave my house. Now. You there hear me? There is no point ranting and raving. Calm down. Because whether you like it or not, I'm going to get married to Oluma. So save hey. your energy for more mm. serious issues. Okay, I get it. I think you are exhausted and tired from walking from one house to the other, all over the village, supplying palm wine. Not to worry. I'll be back when you are sane enough. What? You call me insane? Me? Me? Is it just go for one now? Like your father is not happy. Don't mind my father. He's always like that when a lot of people owe him. No, he should understand that I mean no harm. He, he should know you, that. What? You don't have to bother yourself. Leave. Leave now. Mazi, what have I done now? Eh? Look, this is my house. And if I don't want you around, you have no right to question me. So leave now. I don't want to know what you are doing with this boy. Eh? I don't want to, but one thing I want you to know. I, 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 I'm not training you so, so that you can go around with this uh, chop and clean mouth boys. You hear me? You hear me? But Papa, I, I love her from the Papa, 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 I love her Oba! 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 
Water. 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 Water, please. Please. Oh, but where is the water now? I'm bringing it double. Hmm? Oba, bring the water. I'm bringing it double. <laughs> water? Or open wine? No, water, water, water first. Water. Hey, why your one? Why? Why your? Why your? Wash, wash it down with this one. When you were coming in, I thought you were going to drop dead. Please, did you see my son? Your son? Uh, uh, it's long he left here, actually. Uh, what's the problem? Oba, that boy has sworn to send me to an early grave. But it will not work for him. Hmm. Warn him, oh. You better warn him. He should stay out of my, of my affairs. I will send him to early grave if he does not stay away from anything that concerns me. Hey. 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 Oba. What has he done to you? Hmm. 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 There is no need to frown. I have not come here to make trouble. I come in peace. I've come to take you for a ride. Mua. Oye. Ride in the same car with you. Listen, girl. You need to take a ride with me. And why would I do that? Hmm? Give me one reason I should ride in the same car with you. Okay. I want to change the financial... No. I want to change the poverty status of your family for the better. And the only way for me to do that is if you take me to where Uloma is. God forbid. There is no point bringing God into this. Leave the big man alone. I'm ready to get married. And Uloma is my wife. Take me to where she is. A madman like you that wears the same clothes every day, day in, day out, can never marry my sister. Because, I, listen, let me tell you, if your madness has started demanding that you should get married, go to one of these villages and pick a wife from. Will you shut up and get into this car? You're not even happy. I'm offering to ride you in this expensive vehicle. Get into this car or I'll bundle you inside. Eh? Try it. Bukasa, I say do your worst. If you don't leave here now, I will scream and tell people that you want to kidnap me. And they will come here and burn you and this is your stolen car. You better leave here now. You have missed out. Ngekwa, you have missed out. Honestly. I don't know where I went wrong in raising Afam. I don't know why he turned this way. Hmm. 
what baffles me is that uh, all the places I went to search for solution and that uh, uh, they all promised me that nothing is wrong with him and still he, he continues to, to, uh, to behave this way. Oba, I think I should look for another powerful Dibia and make further inquiries. Don't make that mistake, oh. <laughs> Don't try it. You will regret it. Yes, you will regret it. There are so many fake Dibias all around. Look, like I've always told you, hmm? have trust in God. He will make everything all right and in time, at his own good time. Hmm? Come to think of it, this kind of madness, I can't even describe it. It has never, ever existed in our lineage. Which will help to convince you that he is not mad. Have you ever seen a, 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 a madman drive a car? Your son knows what he's doing. Hmm? He knows what he's doing. And uh, with time he will realize that this type of life is not beneficial and will come back to his senses. It's not as if I have doubts. But to think that this thing started the day he was to start work with a big and well-paying company gives me causes to be worried. It pains me. It pains me. What should concern you now hmm? <laughs> is to find him before he sells that car. What did you say? Yes, find him before he sells that car. Trust in God. He will do everything fine at his own good time. Is there something I want to tell you? Ah. Yes, Papa. Mm, sit down. So, what is it that you want to tell me? Uh, Papa, it's about Bukasa. Our family for now. Hey! What about him? Um, Papa? He said he wants to marry me. That when he gets a, a job, he'll come and marry me. Oloma. Papa. I will never allow Afam to marry you. You hear me? I will never allow Afam to marry you. No way. Hey, Papa. <laughs> Papa. Fabikum. Papa. Papa. Papa, I thought Afam is your friend's son. Of course he is. Yes. But. Afam will never marry you. Do you hear me? Out of my sight. But Papa, I... Out of my sight. Jeme. Papa. Nonsense. Afam will marry me. This is getting out of hand. Why won't she think of, of what she was she is going to do when she graduates? Huh? Why is she so blind to know that when she graduates from school and goes to the big city to get a job? It will be easier for her to, to, to see a rich man to marry her. I must do something to Bukasa before he spoils things for me. My daughter must not marry Afa. She must not, she cannot marry Afa. Mm. Bro.
Oba! Oba, oba! Oh! Hey, cool, man. Ah, it's you like... A, it's like... Uh, uh, you are drinking with two tumblers. Oh, this one. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, you had a visitor. Yes, one of my friends came. And, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so... Hey! Uh, hey! Uh, that is one of the benefits of having a son-in-law that is rich. Look at me now. Hmm. If I can say, if I can open. Ah, from well. Listen, I'm, I'm sure, I think uh, one of your daughters is still remaining. Mm. Oba, make sure that your daughter marries somebody who is as rich as my son-in-law. Ah. Oh, oh is you? I must make sure I give Olo, Oloma out to a rich man. Mm. When I gave Onye out, I was still blind. Cure that your blindness. Mona, cure that your blindness because you see this thing is one of the things. Ulo Dina getting an in law that is rich. Yes. Soon, Oba, you may not even be able to be climbing pantries. What happens then? If you don't have anybody who will support you, you end up a poor man. In fact, you might even end up a beggar. Yeah, a queer man. I'm telling you out of experience. Did you come to my house to insult me? Or do you have any other thing to discuss with me? How will I insult eh? you? I'm just trying to tell you. But you but 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 Baby, babe, 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 one minute, please, please. Okay. Okay. Ever since he got that car for Papa, he does not allow people to get into the car. Yes. Yes, are you listening to me? Yes, I am. I doubt if you're listening to me. Yes, baby. You're not listening to me? Yes, baby. Yes, so you're not listening to me? I'm listening. Good. Ah, Mama. Gendelim. I've been watching you. And um, I'm wondering if. Uh, Mama, I'm fine. Don't interrupt me. I didn't say you're not fine. Who told you that you're pregnant? Ah. Mama, I don't understand. What don't you understand in Gendelim? Who told you you're pregnant? You're there telling me you don't understand. What don't you understand? Um, uh, um, what? Drop whatever you're doing. I am taking you to General Hospital right away. Mama, Ben, I'm not sick now. Who said you're sick? I know you're not sick. 
I am taking you there for a pregnancy test. Just follow me. Let me now wait for you. Jesus. Hey. I'm finished too. I'm finished. Oh. Hey. 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 Call him and tell him to come home at once. Tell him I want to see him immediately. Is everything okay? Is Mama all right? Tell him to come home immediately. But is everything okay? Stop asking stupid questions. I say call him and tell him to come home immediately. You know, hard work pays. Anybody who tells you that hard work does not pay is a fool. But when you are working hard, people will not know. Thank you, Ekweme. Which other result do you need from Ekweme to believe that hard work pays? Ekweme, congratulations. Thank you. This is just the beginning, you know. You know, when you are working hard and people are not recognizing you, we think that you are losing. People will be, will be, people will be, People will be until. Yeah. What is wrong with you? You want to hit my car? Look at how close you are. Hey, Bakasi. Equeme, that is a very wrong way to greet a fellow car owner. Uh, you know what, Bakasi? You can go. You can see now. Uh, I'm uh, very busy with my. Equeme. You want to dismiss a fellow car owner? Not right. I drove all the way from my village to this place and I stopped because I saw your car. Now you want to dismiss me. The least you could do is offer me a bottle of palm wine. Even though I don't drink, I will... No, you have already confirmed that you do not drink. If I had given you one shot of palm wine, I'm sure this car would have been a wreck by now. Including your brother's car. So please go. Um, maybe we should tell your friends how my brother also bought you this car. Uh, what, what do you want from me now? Don't you go want to embarrass me in public? Okay. What is the problem? What is going on? I have come to know when you are going to buy me a car. I don't understand. What don't you understand? You want me to buy you a car. Oh, yes? What is ridiculous? <laughs> this is ridiculous. What is ridiculous? <laughs> you think I, I, I love to trek? Or I don't like uh, uh, to enjoy the luxury of a car? And God probably revealed to you that once you press it upon me, I will buy you a car. Are you talking to me like that? It's, it's just that I left everything I was doing in the shop and hurried home thinking that something that really required my attention had happened. I didn't know it was something like this. I, please, sir, with due respect, don't send for me like this. Mishak, Hi. do you realize it's my father you just talked to like this? Yes, I know. Do I owe him a car? Huh? Mishak! Come here. Mishak, come here. Come back here. Did you see your husband just disrespect me? Is he out of his mind? Okay. I want to get married. And I need your help. Want to marry me? No. So how do you need... It's a good thing that you want to marry now. Even though it is risky for the girl that's going to marry you. But how does it concern me? I want to get married to Loma, Chimuba's daughter. Chimuba is your friend. I want you to talk to him. Tell him I'm the best son-in-law he can ever have. Ever. Listen, Ching Woba is not... If you want to marry Ching Woba, it would have been very, very easy for me to convince Ching Woba. 
for you to marry him. But Chungopa does not even have influence over the dog. Have you talked to Lumu? How can I talk to her when she's hidden somewhere? Her father took her away. Interior or exterior? Baka. In the cloud? Uh, Bakasi, it's like you're relapsing. When last did you take your drugs? Ekweme, we are talking about marriage and you're talking about drugs. This is how madness starts, you know. Oh, really, is it? You know, you are an authority in madness. So I, I wouldn't know. So you tell me, is this how madness starts? Oh, sorry. So you don't want to help me? Yes, what I'm telling you now is, if this is how madness starts, go and start your madness at home. They say charity begins at home. So you go home, start your madness, yes, like that. You start your madness, you spread it before you come outside. So just move your car away from my own so that my own will stay in peace. Okay. Bye. Bye, and then go home so that I can stay in peace. Okay. We have stayed for a very long time for you to know me through and through. You know that it's not everything that I joke with. Akwema. I am not joking, Akwema. This is Nkendelem. She's here. You can ask her yourself. Nkendelem, tell me that your mother is lying. Have you suddenly gone to death and dump? No, Papa. No, Papa. What? Are you pregnant or not? I'm no longer pregnant. Oh, you're no longer pregnant. You used to be pregnant that time. Pregnancy traveled to come back later. She wasn't pregnant at all. She wasn't. You were not pregnant. Game the In the presence of myself and your mother, you opened your mouth and told us that you were pregnant. What came into your mind? Or don't you know that the moment you tell your parents you are pregnant, they will set to work. They will be put under pressure. That your so-called pregnancy, if I tell you the effort, the amount of energy I have put in preparing for the unborn child, that travel, that you do no longer, you will pity me. And in fact, I don't need your pity. If you know you want to leave, go and get pregnant. How could she get pregnant? You referred me to how I don't want to hear from you. Just leave me and the Kemdelim. Kemdelim, I am I don't want my spleen to go to my palm because I will kill you. I want you to go and get pregnant. Not long pregnant, I don't want a elongated one. No. I want it as soon as possible. In fact, I want you to get pregnant within what? Use shortcut. Get pregnant within one week. If not, we Where am I? Is it not possible? Make it possible! Or I will kill you. Ask, I'm going to kill you.
Hello, Chibike. There was nothing good about today. I have chased your brother, Alpha Mefula. The whole of Nemo today. He hijacked my jeep. And as I'm talking to you now, I have neither seen Afam nor my jeep. Papa, um, let me call you back. Yeah, I'll call you back shortly, please. Okay. Bye. Chibike, am I a piece of furniture in this house? I need to know. What are you talking about? Ever since I came into this house, the only time you realize I'm your wife is either when you're horny or you're hungry. But for the rest of the time, you are happily married to your laptop and your phones. Akudo. I was in the middle of two very important business transactions on this laptop that you just closed. Important business transaction, my foot. What do you do? What kind of a man does a business that his wife wouldn't know anything about? Okay. Well, if you must know, <laughs> I was discussing with the travel agent who's supposed to arrange your visa for you to travel abroad to America. Mm -hmm. And secondly, I was also chatting with the brand manager of that American company. Yeah, the one that produces the beauty products that you would like to start marketing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now that you've closed the laptop, they will probably be waiting for me online and they won't see me. They'll think I'm not serious. Mm -mm. Yeah. So I'll probably just get some rest. Uh -huh. Okay? Was that what you were really doing? What else would I be working on? She became so sorry. I didn't know. It's just that you're always too busy with your laptop and see. Please continue. Just continue. Continue. The man is waiting. Please. The visa. Hmm? Yeah, Chibike, please. Yeah. Thank you. Give me some juice. How can one have a bad dream in a car like this? Well, if he can break down on the way, there is nothing he cannot do. Is that the kind of scrap to be bought for us? And wherever he is now, he'll be boasting. Boasting that he bought a big car for... For us, anyway. will not enter anybody near the both of you until this girl gets pregnant. If you don't get pregnant, don't come back to this house. This is very shameful of you. What is shameful? To tell a girl that has not even gotten married to get pregnant. Who is even going to pregnant her? And what will people say? I don't care who makes her pregnant. All I know is that she is going to get pregnant. She said she was pregnant. I didn't see the pregnancy. Let her get pregnant as soon as possible. And in fact, for your information, don't have the pregnancy of a male child, though. What I need is the pregnancy of a female. I will use it to prepare potage for you. No, no, no. It's not you that is saying this. God, give it to me. Devil is at work here. Devil is at work here. Do you know when devil will be at work? When this girl does not get pregnant as soon as possible. That is when devil will not be at work. Devil will have his, his, his workshop in our place. 
You come, come back. Come back, please. Oh, no, I said you should come back. I said you should come back. Please. Come back. Come. It's alright. I said you should come. And the house. Did you buy a common bicycle for my father when he came to marry me? Eh? So because a queen man's son-in-law bought him a car, you now tax your daughter's husband to buy you a car. Eh? Do you think he wouldn't be riding a better car if he has enough money? Amarachi, I will not take that insolence. Who are you to be talking to me in that manner? I am your wife. Chumoba, I'm your wife. And if I don't tell you the truth, no one will. I bet my life that those your conniving friends will not even do that. Eh? Or oh, don't you know that some parents buy cars for their daughters when they get married? Kogatonabem. Amarachi, I don't want to warn you again. Oh. Let me not warn you again. Oh. If you buy cars for that struggling young man, will God be so angry with you that he will stop all your palm trees from producing wine? Eh? Producing wine. I, I, will slap, I will slap this is that your teeth away from your mouth. <laughs> oh, mama, mama. Oh, no. oh, I miss you. Welcome, my dear. Mama, I missed you. Ah, Mama, you're looking good. Bumneya, Otua. Mama, good evening, sir. Good evening, my daughter. Mama, I miss you. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm Where is my car? Where is my car? Where is my car from? So the car is more important than me? Of course. You haven't even bothered to ask where I slept. Anyway, it packed up somewhere. Along the express. By the primary school, very close to the palm wine. Here are the keys. The fell finished. I was going. The fuel finished and what happened? Exactly what happens when fuel finishes in a car. Just go there, buy some fuel and put in it. If it starts, fuel. If it doesn't, check the tires. The four tires, the front and the back. If there is enough... Did I tell you that? Isn't that your job? See ya. Get the car in good condition as soon as possible. Afam, Afam, Mefula, Afam, come back here. Don't monkey around. Fast. Time is paramount. Telling. Telling you, my family is my family. The way I make my family is the way my family is going to be. Mother, I be my family and tell me what to do and how to align it. You better go. Let me. Uh, hey, before I forget, who's your mother's son? Give me a message for you. Uh, your 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 son-in-law. Like a boss, my son-in-law. The one they call Bukasa. He says he's interested in marrying um, your daughter. <laughs> Are you telling me this to for me to put it into consideration or or what? Let, listen, I am telling you so that you, be, beforehand, you align yourself and know how you're going to place value on your, on your daughters. See, the value you place on your daughters is the value everybody sees. If you make your, your daughters valueless, then valueless people will come to seek their hand in marriage. Eh? You understand what I'm saying? Hey, Kwem, eh, I know that. You are, are good, good that you have told me. Mm. I'm seeing it in your life already. Meanwhile, I told him that if he wants to come, he should not involve me. Let him bring Ozoma the father. And then uh, I know you can relate well with uh, Ozoma. So that you people can talk it out. After all, Ozoma is our friend. I, I don't get your drift anymore. How do you want me to relate to Ozoma? Oh, 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 oh. Ah. 
So, you are very happy that, that Bukasa wants to marry my daughter? You see, what, what, that was why I didn't want to tell you in the first place. I don't like this kind of face. Listen, let us forget this thing. Because soon, we will begin to, to fight amongst ourselves. Um, uh -huh. When are you traveling to Anicha? Anicha, Anicha, in my canal. <laughs> you know, each time I remember Onisha and Onisha trip, I feel very, very happy. Even in my dream. <laughs> Whenever I remember Onisha and what I'm going to do there, I feel happy. I don't answer that question in a hurry. Can go to I will give you the answer. Afam! 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 Afam, come here! Hey! Are you still here? You've not gone for the car. I told you I have a lot of places to cover. Will you shut up? Listen, I don't know how long this will continue, but I want to warn you for the last time. Stay away from that car, or I'll make sure you regret your life. That car belongs solely to me. If you had bought that car with your money, I probably would listen to you, but you did not. Just do fast. Go and get the car. You know I have a lot of places to cover. North, south, east. Hurry up. You think it's easy? Trekking the whole village on foot. From this to that. You check and you calculate. Then you navigate. And... <clears throat> Afam, why are you just staring at me like that? Won't you at least welcome me? What is it? Has your friend gone? Imagine, imagine, a queer man is now insulting me because he has a rich son-in-law. A queer man drove all the way from his house to my house to insult me. Ha! Hmm. So a queer man is now laughing at me, eh? Baba, I hope you didn't fight with him. See, you push it, please. You push it, please don't fight each other over friendly banters. Oh. Friendly banters? Hmm. Eh. Friendly Bantag will come to, to my house to insult me and tell me to give my hand, uh, my, my, my daughter's hand to, to, to Bukasa, uh, Uzoma's son. Is that what you call friendly banters? Was that yeah. what happened? <laughs> it could have been worse than that. Yeah, my husband, you're beginning to take things very seriously. Yeah? Uzoma is your friend. And if his son marries your daughter, uh, it will make your friendship to be... Uh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Are you all right? So you wouldn't mind having that, that crazy idiot as your son-in-law? What, what is wrong with that? Eh? Over the years, I've had problems with you. Just because I was very uncomfortable with, with your friendship with uh, Uzoma and the queer men. So what I'm concerned with now is to make your friendship with those men to be tighter and stronger. So that both of you can be all of you. What is wrong with that? Everything is wrong with that. Where have you been? I've been searching for you all over the world, but you were nowhere to be found. All over the world? Yes. I told you I was going back to school. Don't you remember? School? Yes, school. Wait, when I went to school, you never bothered to call me once. I tried reaching you and your number was not available. Yeah. Wait, you actually think I'm joking, right? Listen, I am very, very mad at you if you don't know. I'm also angry at you. Why will you be angry at me? I promised myself that once I buy a car, the next thing will be to marry you. My car is here, and I was searching for you all over the world. All over the world. All over the world. 
that your father hid you. Anyway, let me leave that aside. Thank God you are here now. You have come back to me. Why are you wearing these dusty shoes? I mean, look at your shirt. Your shirt looks so dirty and you fly in your shirt. What's happening? I wash this every day. Every day, every day. I soak it. I wash it. I wash it every day. No, that is why every time I want to wash it, I... That's not important. You know, I was going to collect an employment letter and start work immediately. That's why I dress for the occasion. Wasn't that supposed to be a month ago? You mean you've been wearing this for... You've been wearing this since then? Yes, until I pick up the letter and start work. Start work then. When I pick up the letter, start working. Start working the letter when I wear this. Oloma, ever since we came back from wherever you went to a couple of days ago, you have been like this. Eh? And to be honest with you, I am no longer comfortable with this. Eh? Mom, what is wrong with you? I'm asking you, what is wrong? Eh? And don't give me there's nothing excuse because I'll be mad at you. Mama, I went to see her from. I heard that you must be a useless girl. Who did you tell that you were going to visit a, 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 a terrorist? You come back from school and the first thing you have to do is to go and visit a madman. Huh? Nay, please take it easy with her. Take what easy? Huh? That my daughter has gone to visit somebody who has been terrorizing the whole village and, and beyond? Oroma, give me one more time and visit him. Then I will, I will make you experience what fire does to the feathers of a fowl. Nah, it's okay. Nah, wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. If you had told me earlier, I would have known what to do. Your sister married a, some, somebody who could not even afford to buy me a bicycle. And you are here crying over a madman. Let, let, let me tell you, as for you, I will kill you before you start to sing a love song for that Bukasa or any, any poor man whatsoever. Nonsense. It's okay. I know you are very close to Afamifu. Okay. Eh? But as things are now, I'm begging you to take your thoughts off him. I know why I'm advising you. You know? Just stop for now. Oh? It's okay. My thoughts is anyone. <laughs> Over. Except what you're coming here for. The reason for your coming is very, very important and serious. I did I tell you I was going to Onicha? Eh? Must I have anything serious to come and visit my friend? In, in fact, I only came to wish you safe journey to Onicha. Uh, okay. Oh, maybe I'm not. I thought you have come as usual with one thing or the other. Uh, thank you. So, yes. You will escort me. Yeah, man. Not like uh, I told you inside. Why? Like I can say, the phone on the back. Anybody who comes looking for me, tell the person. I, in fact, don't allow the person to enter this compound. No neighbor. I shout to the person to go back. Man, or yeah. It's all right. You want to go for security reasons? You want to go? Uh -huh. There are you To where? What's him to where? Don't you know I'm going to answer? Uh, but what of your car? No, I'm not. I'm taking public, public uh, transport. You, you, get pregnant before I come back. If not, you'll be in trouble. Hey, a woman. Yes, I'm uh -uh. still in sister. I'm still in sister. I'm still in sister. 
Bia, 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 ekweme, ekweme, ekweme. The, the car was bought for you for comfort. So that your suffering in terms of transport will end. Okay. Hmm? Leaving it here will, it will expose it to vandalization and theft. Theft? Yes. You're right. Uh, this car was bought for you for comfort, huh? Yes. Anyway, who am I to to force you to drive your car? What are you? At times I begin to think that you, do you know? At times you think like somebody who doesn't have anything on his head, huh? Equipment. Think like just in steps ahead. E e e e e e e Look, equipment. It's only two of us here. So, if you insult me one more time, I will so beat you to pop that and nobody will come here to save you. <laughs> Oba, you think it is that very time that you were younger, you were bullying everybody because you were bigger. Now I can use one remote control, your life will be on pause. You, you, will, you will not move. <laughs> what are you talking? Don't you know that if I take that car to Onisha, I have lost. There is a possibility that if I go there, I can come back with another car. Uh -uh. Think. Huh? Yes. What, what do you need another car for? Don't people have many cars? Don't you need a car? Supposing they bring that one, I give it to you. You got so much. Listen, think progressive. Oba, think progressive. Don't think backward. Hmm. Hmm. Think forward. Yes. I, I, to tell you the truth, you are the one thinking backward. That was because you are not making your assessment from forward position. You are making your assessment from backward position. Come close, come abreast me so that will not assess me forward in an azo. You are the one that, that thinks backwards and, and, and not me. You are making your assessment from a backward position. Come abreast me and then begin to assess me from forward point. Mm, oh yeah, I breast you. Come. I've been shouting about the chain of cars I saw outside. I didn't even know that the inside is another thing. Do you know this parlor is as good as Queen Elizabeth's parlor? I have seen that one in picture. Papa, <sighs> let me help you, Tiba. Akudo. This, Papa. This is Udako. <laughs> Papa, sit down. This is Udako. Hey! Now, Akudo, tell me, in all honesty, are you seeing, number one, the cars I saw outside are all your husband or is it a convoy car? <laughs> no, Papa, they all belong to my husband. Huh? And this parlor is your parlor? Ha! I could do. This is what your, your sister would have made me lose. <laughs> I even prefer the fact that it is you who has it. You know how close we are. You are close to me. That girl, if you had not been there, and I later found out that this is what your sister had made me lose, I would have killed her. Drink her blood. Look at affluence. You will never, never separate from from a GBK. You will never, never. I am going to make sure that um, the gum God continues to ban you people with the glue and the stick. Honestly. <laughs> Is this what somebody will lose? If I could do. Papa. Udako. Papa, I will take you to the other parlor. This is one of the parlors. One of the? Mm-hmm. There are other parlors. Mm -hmm. I'm going to carry one to the village. <laughs> <laughs> I will take one parlor. I could do you are chopping. Are we 
have been asking you since morning and you don't want to say anything. See, there is no food in this household. I never knew there would be any need for us to eat. What are you talking about? Why wouldn't we eat? Uh, for peace to reign in this house. In fact, I have decided to buy your father a car. Oh, <laughs> sweetheart, you are... You are a darling. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm saving every single Naira that comes my way. Father would have saved more, if not that you were always standing in my way each time I wanted to go out. Oh. Baby, I know it's a good thing for you to want to buy my father a car. But come on, honey, that doesn't mean we have to die of hunger. Um, see, I am. Um, if you have any money, yeah, you can prepare something for us to eat. Because for me, for me to remove one naira from that money I'm saving for your father's car, it's going to be mission impossible. Mishak, mm -hmm. this is a joke, right? Eh, eh. Um, Onya, if, um, if there's something you can manage, uh, manage and put something together, but if there is nothing else you can manage. Uh, you can go to bed now. I'll, I'll find my bed later. Have you seen what I've been talking to you about? What is it? This is one thing I don't like about him. Papa, what could a responsible married man be doing outside by this time of the night? I'm just tired of this nonsense. Tired. And you are tired. Listen, let me tell you. Fine, I can understand your position. You have put up your jersey and you are ready to play your match. Unfortunately, he's not around. But when your opponent doesn't appear, you walk him over. And put him to him Do you understand what I'm saying? Marriage is not a bed of roses. But, Papa. Let's say no. I'm going to I'm telling you out of experience. You see that young man, you should be very, very thankful to God for giving you such a handsome, rich your boy. I'm telling you, because when you see what others are saying, you won't be talking like this. You know, no, you. Papa, I don't even know what he does for a living. Is he Megan? What he does for a living? What is your, what do you care what he does for a living? What you have to know is that he is living, not what he does for, he, he, he does for a living. You got even know. This man is living and he's making you live. That is the paramount thing. Why should you worry yourself? After all, he doesn't know what you are doing here. So why are you caring what he's doing there? Why you? Look, all these things is just to give you a headache. My in law. Ha! Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Oh my well, good evening. I'm from Nakali. Uh see you. I thought you were still, I thought you would be asleep, but since you are awake, let's have suya and wine. Uh, you okay? Go and you go home. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> so, um, go and uh, get him his food. And they run water for him to take his bath. Oh? My in-law. Hmm? Let's put your suit to the jail, sir. The shoe. Sorry. How are you? Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, let's eat now. No, 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 no. You cannot bring Suya and be the one to do the work of opening it. I know. <laughs> Come and join us now. Come and eat. I don't want to eat. Uh, please help me with my jacket. Chino jacket, yeah, yeah, yeah. And get us some glasses too. Thank you. My in-law. Huh? <laughs> you are, in fact, you are fantastic in-law. Ah, I have to give you this kind of son-in-law. 
Thank you, sir. I, you I even thought you'd be asleep by now. Sleep? But I can stay in this house 24 hours without blinking my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm mm. sure that's very sweet, too. Very sweet. <laughs> Papa, good morning. Oh, yeah, good morning. You, you don't look so bright. What is the problem? And why are you sitting here all alone? I was waiting for you to come back first. Well, I'm back now. Now tell me, what is the problem? Papa, it's Mishako. It's Mishako. Hey! Oh, Mishak. Meshake. You see, I told you, I told you, I wanted to show that Meshak a, a, a good lesson. But you and your mother, you won't let me. What evil has it done to you again? Papa, Papa, do you know I went to bed hungry last night? I went to bed hungry last night, Papa. Papa, there is no food at home, and Meshak could not even bring one naira for us to buy food. What? What an insult. Why should you do such a thing to you? Nobody goes hungry in my own house. Why should you starve my daughter in his own house to death? He must pay, he must, he must pay for this. He even, he even threatened to beat me up this morning when I insisted that he should give me money to buy food. Hi. He wanted to beat me up, Papa. Well, anyway, I'll distribute these gallons of palm wine now. And then I'll pay him a, a visit. If I don't see him at home, I'll take the fight to his shop. Ah, ah. What, what? Is it mad to have to have to 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 to, do, uh, to treat you like this? He's saying he wants to buy you a car. Therefore, we won't, we won't eat in the house again. Can, can you just imagine? Huh? Uh, Meshach said he wants to buy me a car. Where you go? Uh, I'm on my way to work. You look good. <laughs> Take a sip of this before you jump. Uh, it's too early for that. For what? Alcohol. This is not just mere alcohol. This is blood weakening tonic. If you take a sip of this thing, and all your your nerves will be straightened. I think you the lion. Do you understand? We know about it. You people do not. Just take a sip. <laughs> well, you're very funny. Anyways, I can't take that because I have to work. But. This is 10,000 for you. Yeah, just in case you need to buy recharge cards or something. 10,000 for recharge card. How much is phone? <laughs> Marcy, please. <laughs> hey, God will continue to bless you. Amen. From where this thing came, God will replenish it tenfold. Amen. Your pocket will never get dry. Amen. Thank you, sir. I have a bigger surprise for you, much bigger surprise, but I'll have to wait till I get back from work. Come on, I do same thing. I don't get if you don't tell the ears to wait, I shall. He always wanted to hear the thing that I cannot wait for you to come back. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you. See you later. Okay, Joma. <clears throat> wow. How come? What is this? This one that your face is looking like an unswept pallor. Okay. Papa, what you did last night was totally unacceptable. I don't like it. What I did last night? What did I do, my daughter? Papa, you knew I was angry with my husband. And hardly had he returned than you sent me to go bring food for him and make water for him to shower. Papa, if I had refused, it would be that Akudo does not respect her father. I don't like it though. Akudo, I have never known you to think like a fool before. You have always been my bright daughter, the intelligent daughter, which is why I am close to you. This one that you're talking like this. Has it not occurred to you that if you lose this young man, rich, wealthy young man that is making you comfortable, you are done for? Don't you know? You are done for. You have to pamper him. You have to, in fact, you have to treat him like the way you treat an egg. Come on. This is 
mother from that man, Sinai. Bonigny. How can we be asking you what the problem is for some time now and you, you practically ignored us? <laughs> Oloma, Oloma, if it is because of gossip you came back from school, please go and look for your fellow gossips and exchange tales with them. Have to come back out. Leave me alone. Onigny. How about Onigny? Is it because I showed my concern? Is that why you called me a gossip? Concern? Is it by force to show concern? Is it by force to show concern on someone? Oloma, have to come back. Leave me alone. <laughs> Oloma, let her be. I'm sure she must have fought with her husband. That's why she's now waiting for her precious father to come back so that both of them will go and beat up the young man. Foolish girl. Mama. Mama. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, shut up. In Apuala. What was that for? Was that mine for me or for somebody else? If I hear pee from your mouth again, I will tell you that I'm your mother. Just look. That I am getting old does not mean that I'm weak. Let me hear pee from your mouth again. I will show you what fire does to the ears of a rat. Stupid girl. Nonsense. Let me happen in your mouth again. Where are you trekking to? Uh, I'm going to see my in-law. Um, we have um, an important issue there to discuss. Uh, uh, why don't you come inside? Let me go and drop you off. Uh, yes. Hey, Oye <laughs> Kambuzi. <laughs> hey, you enjoy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> it's moving though. <laughs> hey, ah. see how how cool and comfortable it's, it's inside. <laughs> hey, the trekking under the sun is, is suffering for, for us. Yes, uh, it's, it's not meant for human beings. Boba. Hmm? Hey. We give thanks to the gift of children. Nah, you're welcome, if man. I didn't raise my son Chibike very well, yeah. he wouldn't be this wealthy. Okay. And I would have been pumping tire by the roadside hey. and hey. receiving insults. Yes. Hey. Uh, come on. Do you, are you aware that uh, Ikweme went to Anicha to see your son? He didn't tell me he was going to Anicha. Anyway. Uh, he is Chibike's father-in-law, and he has every right to visit him anytime he likes. Hey, are you a dummy? Are you the only one in Nemo that does not know what Ikweme is, is capable of doing? Oh, but what are you insinuating? Uh, if, if care is not taken, eh? by the time Ikweme would have finished with your son, mm -hmm. he won't remember that he has a father like you. Ikweme would have taken over control of everything your son has worked for. That we are friends does not mean he will spare you. Huh? Uh, uh, have you forgotten the way he treated you when you went to him to borrow some money? wondering why I came to your house this early. Hmm? Uh, my daughter brought a complaint to me. So I thought it was 
reasonable. I come to you so that we can sit down and thrash out things like grown men. What did she say I did to her? Did you tell her that uh, both of you will grow hungry and die because of, uh, because of the fact that you want to buy a car for me? I told her that we are no longer going to spend money unnecessarily in this house until we have bought you a car. <laughs> Meshach, Meshach. <laughs> I know I trust you. <laughs> uh, I know you are going to make me very proud. Hmm? Uh, it's a good decision you took to buy your father-in-law a car. <laughs> um, is the car going to have AC? Of course. Factory fitted AC. Hey! Onye Kambozi. Hey! Oneku, Oneku. Hey! Thank you very much. You are a great man. Uh, but um, I, will, I will plead with you to relax your decision a bit. Because you still need to eat. So you get, you have more energy to make more money. <laughs> You know? Yes, it's it's not like I didn't know who it's. It's just that the way she was disturbing me about it, oh. that was what made me take that decision. Uh, I'm sorry, my son. You know, women are always women. Huh? Just take it easy with her. It's all right, sir. It's all right. Um, my in-law, how soon do you think you can buy me the car? Why are you sitting here all alone? Papa. Are you eating? Papa, food is not my problem now. You said we are not going to waste time where you went to supply palm wine, but, but I've been waiting for you here since. <laughs> well, there's no need to be angry or worried. Hmm? Come, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Your father is equal to the task. Hmm? I will find a lasting solution to all the problems you and your husband have. Okay? Okay. Uh, now, so, now let's go inside. Oh, Papa. Come on, let's go inside. Papa, Come, Papa. Le but you said we were going to follow me to go and see him. Let's go inside now. You said we are going to follow me to see him now. Let's go inside first. Hmm? Come, 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 come. Hmm? Let's go inside first. Papa, please, let's forget about this food and attend to my problem. Uh, my daughter, I've gone to see your husband. Huh? And we have sorted out everything very well. How? I don't understand. You see, my daughter, he, he's not really as bad as you have painted him. <laughs> Papa, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, he's very intelligent. My daughter, I, I would want you to uh, understand this young man. Study him very well and try to understand his good intentions. I bet you if you put your heads together more and support each other, <laughs> you will achieve your dreams in the shortest possible time. Papa, is this you talking or...? And he has uh, he wanted to buy, I mean, uh, uh, 
he, he told me that he wants to buy the car as soon as possible. And please, make sure that happens, all right? <laughs> Come, let's go inside. Come on, come, 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 let's go inside. Huh? How come, where are you going? You are not going anywhere. I told you I want to get married. You haven't said anything. You are not going anywhere. Give me the keys to this car so I can go and pick up my wife. Afam, how else will I tell you that this vehicle does not belong to you? It is mine and mine alone. Chibi bought it for me, your brother. Come on, driver, let me see. Stand in my way if you think you're a full grown man. What's the deal? The only problem we have now is to get our own representative that will go and sign those documents. And it should be a person that won't ask any questions. I once told you my father-in-law will make the perfect fall guy, right? Yeah, you said something like that the other day. Yeah. I always like to plan ahead, so I took care of that problem a long time ago. My father-in-law will be ready to sign the documents by tomorrow morning. Are you sure he can do that without asking questions? Just wait and see. to know if your madness is getting worse or what. I used to believe that you were doing this on purpose, but you are doing a good job trying to convince me that you're really suffering from mental illness. I've been politely asking you to hand me over the key to this car. What type of nonsense is this? It used to be that I want to go to Enugu to collect my employment letter. Now it has changed to marriage. Yes, you are correct. Wait to Afam, get out of my way. I'm warning you for the last time. That's true. I was supposed to collect that letter a long time ago. I'm running late. Running late to where? Enugu. Enugu. Candle him. Ma? Come back. Ma? Where are you going to? He asked me to go to the market and buy foodstuffs. Mm. Don't go again. Go inside. But Mama, he asked me to go to the market. Candle him. Ma? Am I not the person that said you should go to the market? And I'm the same person that said you should not go to the market again. Go inside, I'll go to the market myself. On way fed in it. Go inside. Uh, good afternoon, Mama. My good name afternoon. Is Sita. I'm looking for Nkendilim. <laughs> My name is Sosita. And I'm looking for Nkendilim. Look at your hair. Yeah? Look at you. You're looking for Nkendilim. Why are you looking for Kendall? Huh? Eh? Oh, 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 oh. So you are the person a woman is sent to impregnate in Kendall? Ah. Okay. Ah, no, Mama, I, I didn't come here to impregnate anybody. Then why are you here? Why are you here? It was Uche that asked me to come and call her to see him, and that her phone has been switched off. Can you leave my house? I thought I sent you to 
do what? Don't do what? Go and tell whoever that I sent you that I have seized in Kedilim's phone. Leave my house before I have business in to business you now. Leave my house. Is that that boy? What? Why do you keep looking at me like that? I wasn't looking at you. I was wondering if she would still come. And who is she? The girl you're waiting for. Who are you? And what makes you think I'm waiting for a girl? With the way you're glancing at your watch at intervals and sitting patiently, you must be waiting for a girl. Are you also waiting for a girl? No. Nah. I'm going to Enugu to pick up my appointment letter and start work immediately. You know, it's been a long time in the making since I was asked to come pick it up, but... Where did he go? Go what? Bros, I met the girl's mother and she threatened to break my head into a thousand pieces if I didn't leave the house. Are you serious? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand pieces. Breaking the head into a thousand pieces. <laughs> building plan for the mansion I want to build for you. Mazi, I didn't say a house. What did I say? A mansion. Thank you, Mazi. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're, you're not serious. I'm very serious. Nothing is too much for the man that gave me this beautiful woman, his daughter, as my wife. <laughs> you know, at times you get me so confused. I don't know what to start saying. Mansion for me. Yes, sir. God will continue to bless you. God, in fact, God will continue to guide and guard you Amen. in all your endeavors. I could thank him for me. Mansion. For me. Master, actually, there are two building plans in there. One for my father and one for you. Yes. But since you're here, you might as well choose first. Anyone you choose is you. Hey! Akudo. <laughs> you know, Chilika, at times you make me... Looks stupid. <laughs> I'm not trying. 
do you mean? I didn't even plan for it. God will keep you. Amen. God will continue to bless you. Amen. Amen. I could you please thank him for me. <laughs> thank him for me. <laughs> Let me go and freshen up. Ah, it's okay, it's okay, you can go. My daughter. No one has set eyes on him since yesterday. And no one is looking for him. There is no need to look for him. He does that all the time. And he comes back whenever he likes. But has he been taken to the hospital? To the hospital? For what? Papa, I really don't think our farm is alright. Don't waste your time over nothing. Afam is perfectly fine. The only problem with Afam is that suddenly he has become so lazy to the point that washing his own clothes is a tug of war. But I know that one day he will realize that such antics will never be beneficial to him. And he will now wake up to his full responsibility as a man. Oh, Papa. I think you have a point. But what if I take him to see a doctor? It's like you have money. It's like you have money to waste. Eh? Destin, if you don't have anything important to do with your money, give it to me. I, Ozoma, will spend it for you judiciously. Are you ready, sir? So, all I have to do is walk into that room that you described and then uh, sign all the papers uh, they present. Yes, that's, it's as simple as that. You know, I would have actually done it myself, but you know, I don't want these people to know how super rich I am. In this country, you don't know who to trust. All right. Yes. All right. I like your sense of security. <laughs> Honestly. And by the way, Mazi, I told them that you're the chairman, chief executive officer of Gemstones International Limited. You must be joking. <laughs> uh, me? Bazi. Bailo, look, if you do not have money in this town, yeah. you are not even worth a doormat. You're not worth a doormat. So I uh, I bought you this clothes you're wearing for a reason now. Eh? I know you already have the spirit to intimidate anyone in this world, but this clothes will make it easier. Now I understand. So um all you do is walk in there. When you see the white man, you tell him that you're the uh, CEO of Gemstones International Limited. He'll give you some papers to sign. You sign on the dotted lines. You know, very simple. And then you don't need to ask any questions. You don't even need to answer any questions. As simple as that? Very, very simple. And as soon as you're done, I'll mobilize them to come to the village and start building your mansion. <laughs> <laughs> the deal is sealed. Sealed. I'm telling as you. As good as sealed. <laughs> Let me go. Oh, yeah. See you in a bit. Okay. <laughs> wow. Where, what is the room number again? Uh, room 112. 112? Yes. Gemstone International, International Limited. Limited. CEO. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Very, Very sharp move. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everything is in place. Yes. Once I put the man in a chartered taxi back to the village, I'll let you know. All right, bye. Yes, I, I am asking. Okay. Oh. Mm. Right. Yes, uh, I am. Um, How is it? Um, uh, let me introduce myself properly first. I am a Kweme of Nimo. In fact, I'm a Kweme of the entire Boris. I'm Mr. Pierre, please sit. Okay, thank you very much. You. Yes, uh, Okay, can you please sign here? Okay. 
Grand Cru Saint Here. Here. Okay. That should be my signature. Yes. Okay. Afam, where have you been? Your father said you did not sleep at home. What does he know? Don't mind him. Since TBK bought that car, all he does is drive around the whole of Nemo, seeking for notice and attention. I'm driving. But you did not sleep at home. I came back very late at night and left very early this morning. He was sleeping like a log of wood. If I had taken him off that bed, he wouldn't know. Afam, be careful what you say about me before I place a curse on you. Hmm? If you like, go call your cohorts, your partners in crime. And the three of you do the cursing. Trust me. It won't work. Well, no. Afam. 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 I have to. There's somewhere I want us to go to. Us? Yes. You and I? Yes. That's a good idea. But. It's somewhere to go have fun. You know I don't have any money. Don't worry about money, okay? Just wait for me here. I won't be long. Just sit here. Don't go nowhere, okay? I'll be right back. As a man, if you don't have a son like Chibuke, your life as a father is a failed one. Just look at me. Eh? A few weeks ago, I was a vocnizer. But today, I'm living large. I'm eating rice and chicken, drinking champagne. <laughs>
puluh mah. Where's my phone? Afam? Where's my phone? Afam, are you alright? Jesus Christ. Afam, are you alright? Papa? How can you let me wear this dirty thing? It's something you have been putting on every day now. Hey! Eh? What do you want to give you girl? My son, where... Who was this car? Ah! The car? Yes. It's mine. Yes. Chib Chibike bought it for me now. Chibike. Chibike, your brother bought it for me. Bought this car. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Papa, let me let me go and change road before someone sees me. Maybe my son is finally back home. Baby, baby, um, please, I need to talk to you. I'm listening. Okay. Um, I know that my father came to see you. So I just want to know what you both talked about. Oh. Well, um... You've always wanted me to get him a car. I told him that, by the grace of God, I'm going to get him a car before the month runs out. Which car? The car you've always insisted I buy for him. Oh, oh God. Come on, honey, like... Why would I insist that you buy my father a car when... Why would I insist that you buy my father a car when... I, when the one you're using is long overdue? And needs to be changed. You've not even bought me a car, and here you are saying I asked you to buy my father a car. Oh, hold on, are you are you saying it's no longer a brilliant idea to get your father a car? When you something is not right here. Oh, come on, honey. The only thing that is not right here is you buying my father a car. Sweetheart, if my father desperately wants a car. He should go and buy one for himself and not disturbing you. Onyine? Baby. Are you the one talking or am I hearing voices? Is this a plan to put me into trouble with your father? Come on, baby. recognize you. Do you know now that I dine and wine with the white people that you became introduced me to? Nene Kwemen. Look at the Kwemen. Look at this is a new Kwemen. I can see it, my husband. One you should go to Chibike's place and see for yourself. That boy is super comfortable. And in fact, he coupled with intelligence. Because this boy hides the thing, nobody knows how rich he is. Hey! Oh, the boy, oh, the... I can see it. You're welcome, my husband. Papa, how is Akudo doing? How is Akudo? Well, Akudo is doing 100 times better than you will ever do in your life. Hey, 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 hey,
You refuse to be gay. That was the greatest mistake of your life. Because if you go and see your sister, she looks like fruited pumpkin. You know, Leba? Where, man? Let's go. I've told you, you continue to be a fool. You can't go to Nagano. Let's go. Go to Akudo, you. In fact, I will make you visit Akudo. Anything Akudo wants, they provide for Akudo. Chibike provides it. They don't allow Akudo to, to stress herself. Let me tell you, if Chibike had not married any of my daughters, and the two of them rejected Chibike, I would have bought a robe for you. For you to go and hang yourself where I will not see you in a hidden place. Because Meji Pangabu Wawu. It's all right, it's all right. Let's go inside. Now, look at me. Let's go inside. I'll look at me. Because I would have killed you myself. <laughs> 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 Hello, Mama. Hi. Oh. Hi. Now I know. Now I see why your father kept hammering that he does not want to see you anywhere around that family funeral. Man, just look at you. Our family funeral has succeeded in transferring his illness to you. Just tell me where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? Hello, Mama. Where? Where do you go? Eh? Look at my eye now. Look at my daughter. Where I go from here? Where did I come Where did I do? Hey! Oh! 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 This is the kind that uh, if uh, Chumoba were friends, he's the person. Ophelia. <laughs> Oba had always maintained that whatever was wrong with my son was self-induced. Equeme, right in my presence. My son changed and became normal again. Like a normal person. Is he okay now? Yes. Oh, we thank God. Thank God, my brother. Do you know that your son's problem gave me cause for worry? I looked at this boy and I got so worried. So he's okay now? Um, that's all right anyway. When did you come back from Onicha? No, not long ago. But the moment I came, I decided to, you know, scout around of all the parcels of land that I own. Let me find the one that will be most suitable for the mansion that... Uh... Let your son tell you. Tell me what? About the mansion he said he's going to build. One for me, one for you. I have already started. In fact, I didn't want to waste time. Because the way they changed their mind. I said, let me locate the best site for him to put. Let me show you the, the plan. What is this merry go round for? Look at your daughter and candle him. Ask him candle him. Is that how stupid you think I am? How? Did ask him candle him before I asked you what is happening? Why are people doing this merry go round? I'm sorry. It wasn't what I meant. So, what is happening? What's the problem? Huh? Brother. Candelim is pregnant. Candelim is pregnant. Candelim, you move up. You have killed me. Candelim is pregnant. Candelim. Come here. I said, come here. Deba. Come here. Candelim, are you pregnant? Your silence has confirmed that you're pregnant. I don't have any qualms about it. No, 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 no. I'm all right with it. Provided what you are pregnant of is a bouncing baby girl. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hey! I say, hey. A weapon! A weapon! A weapon is how you could say! Oh, you have killed me, a weapon! You can't 
You want me to say more? What are you saying? Listen, it's because of a baby girl that I got this. Haven't you seen improvements since we started having this from in-laws? The more in-laws we have, one neka, the more we have all these goodies. Goodies that you are coming, my life is changing because of a baby. I have an in-law. The more we have girls, the more in-laws will come. The more these kind of things will come. Hey, me? Is that all? Oh, you want me to say more? If that pregnancy is of two baby girls, I will be very, very happy. Get me two twin girls. That will be two cars. Probably two houses. Probably everything in twos. So, it image, ma. I don't care what happened to you. Provided those baby girls will grow up. I take the position that you refuse to, to take. You want me to say more? <laughs> You're welcome, son. Ah, thank you, Papa. How did it go? Mm. God is in control, Papa. It went well. I got to Enugu on time, got to the company and met the personnel manager. He told me there are still chances of me being employed there. He gave me the information that they will be conducting another screening, after which they will invite the qualified ones. There is hope in what you just said. Yes, there is. You know, son, you said that God is in control. God is truly in control. That's why he's there. There is absolutely nothing else I can do for your daughter. <laughs> what, what does that mean? But my daughter can't be like that for the rest of her life. Uh, there must be something else that you can do. But like I said, there is absolutely nothing else I can do for your daughter. But there is something you can do. What is it, please? You will come for the same kind of God that she broke when coming. Find someone that will break it. That person will inherit her condition. I will do that immediately. Then meet me at the shrine. When coming, come with the sum of 100,000 Naira. 100,000 Naira? But where am I supposed to get that kind of money from? Oba, you should be more concerned with what will happen to you and your daughter if you don't. Bring that money for us to do what needs to be done. What, what will happen to me? I, I mean, what, what have I got to do with it? You want to know? You were supposed to guard that God with all your life, but you failed. It was broken. You must bring that money for us to do the nullification rituals for what was done to that God. 
If you fail to bring that money, you will lose your life in less than three days, Oba. How or when, I don't know. Meet me at the shrine. I am waiting. Mom! Where's Meshak? Papa, he has, he has gone to the shop. Call him for me. Call him for me. Tell him I'm, I'm here waiting in his house. Fast, fast, fast. In a, I'm in a hurry. I hope there is no problem. Call him for me, I said, and stop asking questions. Papa, I'm sorry. I cannot call him. Huh? Is something wrong with you? Are you mad? I tell you to call your husband and you have the audacity to... But Papa, I need to know why you want me to call him. I need to know. Uh, tell Meshach that I need some money very urgently. Money? Ah, Papa, the truth is that Meshach doesn't have one naira. I've been thinking of how to... In fact, to cut the long story short, my husband and I don't have one night to give to anybody. We don't have. God will not stop to punish you if you don't mind what you say to me. Do I just look like just anybody? I'm your father. And Meshach is my son-in-law. If you don't want to call him, then give me his other number. I'll call him myself. I'll reach him. If money is the reason you're here, you had better go back home because there is no money in this house or anywhere else to give to anybody. There's no money. Eh? Yeah. Is that so? Mama, what is all this now? What is all this, Mama? Mama, I want to go and see Alpha. I want to go and see Alpha, Mama. Mama, Mama, Mama why that. are you holding me back now, Mama? You see that something is wrong with you. Uloma, is you that is sick? You have been wearing the same dress for some days now. You have refused to eat. Eh? What is wrong? Mommy, I want to go and take our farm to the hospital now. Mama, why are you holding me back? Eh, Mama? Mama, let me go and take our farm to the hospital. Oh, Mama, come, 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 my daughter. Eh? Come, come, come. Sit down here. Sit down. Eh? Hey! I'll get away. Hey! Why is it me? Eh? It's my daughter. I don't know what is wrong with her. For some days now, she has been behaving like this. Eh? Where is, where is Chimoba? Is he inside the house? Hey, 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 hey. What is wrong with your daughter? Thank God you are back. Um, uh, Ikweme, I was looking for, if I knew you were back, I would have come to you straight. I'll be, I'll be looking for you the whole Nemo. Uh, she, she, has, she has been like this. So. Well, I came back. I came back. Uh, this, but you know, I would have come to you since I came back, but I was running around looking for a nice site to erect my mansion. Huh? That was why I could not. Uh... Huh? You want to build a mansion? But that's why I'm here now to tell you. Give it information. Uh, anyway, okay, let's talk about that later. Ikweme, my, my 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 daughter. I don't know what is wrong with her. Huh? Uh, she, she has been like this for 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 days now. Please, I need at least one hundred thousand naira to take her to the hospital. Huh? I need you to lend me this money. I will I will pay you back as soon as I have it. Mm. Let's go. Sit down. Afam, Papa, if you can put a figure on the amount of money Chibike spent in his marriage to Kweme's daughter, you will have a heart attack. And let that pass. The same Chibike bought a car for Kweme. I didn't say anything. Now he wants to build a mansion for him. Is that not madness? How? Papa, just, just calm down. Take it easy, okay? We'll figure out how to go around it. How can I calm down? Did I give back to Chibike for him to make a poor man and his family rich? I will not allow that to happen. It's not possible. It's about time I paid him a visit in Onicha. Wait, wait, Papa. I, I don't understand. What does Chibike do to make all this money? I mean, how does it come about this kind of money he throws around? And from that question belongs to the past. The present is that your brother is very rich. And the future is that I will make sure that he ceases to be a Father Christmas. I will. I just came in here to give you this information about my mansion and probably <clears throat> sample your own opinion. I didn't know this and 
right now I am so tight. I have a project at hand. Look, 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 uh, 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 Kweme, we are here talking about saving life. Good. Saving lives. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah. It surprises me. Saving lives. I know you, you are more conversant with taking lives than saving lives. That's why I'm surprised. Eh? I'm telling you that there is a mansion I have at hand. And that mansion has to be finished. In any case, if you want this money, I could. If I hadn't come here, Chumba, how would you have now demanded for this very money? I, I, I was looking for you all over Nemo now. In your house? No, I, 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 I say thank God you are here now. In any case, come to my house. But while you're coming, come with a very big coat and a bottle of whiskey. Kai Banya. Uh, uh, are you telling me all this or are you talking to yourself? I was the person who came here and you're telling me this thing. I want to go and see how far. Mama, let me go and see how far. Mama, I don't know why you're talking about it. This is a very serious case, sir. It is now. Fine. Listen, if it is that serious to you, come to my house with all the conditions I have placed on you. I am very, very busy. That was why I had to park my car, Nambogidi, at the road. I didn't want to, to come in. So I cannot come here, invite myself here, and you begin to tell me it's in Biabem. With those conditions I gave you. Equeme. Inamundo. Equeme. Equeme. Hey. Equeme. 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 Do you want me to follow the girl for you? Eh? Mama, I want to take her for you. Wait. Wait. Let me take care of you. You shouldn't have got that girl pregnant. The truth is, she wanted to get pregnant. And she also told me that her father wanted that too. How? I thought you said she wanted to go to the university. But Equimi said it's a waste sending her to the university. Oh, that's terrible. All he wants is to get her married to a very rich man. Listen, it's really terrible because I'm looking forward to sending my wife to school. I want her to get a university education, to get a university degree and here... Yeah. So what are you going to do about this now? Mishak, that is why I came here. Hmm? I want us to put heads together and come out with something good, something tangible. Well, I guess it's about time you asserted yourself. It's not going to be easy. But whatever happens, you must be brave about it. Oh, God. What a mercy. Oh. Oba, why are you here this early? You're supposed to be tapping wine somewhere. Look, Uzoma, whatever I've done to you in this life, please forgive me. Eh? But please help me out of this problem. What is the problem? I need 100,000 Naira very, very, very urgently. That is a huge amount of money. And what are you going to do with it? Osama, my daughter is going crazy. And if I don't, if, if, if I don't... If oh, I... I heard what happened. But I was told... Let, let's leave what happened in... Let's leave what happened in the past. Eh? Look, we can sort out our differences peacefully. But help me out of this problem. Oh, from what I heard, it is exactly the same thing my son was suffering. That your daughter is suffering from now. Oba, in that case, I will want you to take home all the good advice that you used to give me when I was looking for treatment for my son. Oba, go home and relax. There is nothing wrong with your daughter. Uso, she probably doesn't want to go back to school. Uso, I, I, I don't know. Like you always say, just trust in God and he'll do it for you. Uso, Uzum, I don't know why you don't understand that my daughter needs this money for, for treatment. My father will not understand. But I... Oba? Why do I have a feeling that it is something you have done to someone somewhere that has turned around to affect your daughter? 
I don't know why it is difficult for you to seek forgiveness from the numerous people you have done terrible things to. Why? Ozama, please. If you don't want to give me the money, then let me know. Eh? I, I, I don't have much time on my hands. Eh? Waneka, what kind of temptation is this? You are looking for my trouble, oh? You are looking for my trouble, oh? Waneka, what you want is for me to strangle you now. Because if you make me angry, I will strangle you now. Villagers will now see something to gossip about. That I, I killed my wife. I will be sure. If you have finished talking about what you're going to do, please, I need money to buy the things in Kendrick needs. I have told you, manage the money you have. Manage the ones we have for now. Let us be hopeful. Probably tomorrow something might be brighter. Then we'll have money and give you. And my wobuge go before. What is this? You are the one that asked her to get pregnant. I don't see why you should not take care of the pregnancy equipment. I was not the one who asked her to be pregnant. pregnant. She was inviting pregnancy from day one. I am pregnant, I am pregnant. As if it is manna from heaven. What I did was just to encourage her to get pregnant. Oh, I'm talking about you. You must bring the money. I'm talking about you. You must bring the money. You must bring the money. Was I the one who made her pregnant? Mm. Mm hmm. am I supposed to go look for him? Do I go? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. <sighs> Shit. Jungle, what I said was very big goat. I did not ask you to bring a very big rabbit. I said big goat. Okay, you want to just purposely annoy me by bringing this thing. That is sickly. Okay? Hey, queer, man. You are my friend. And there's nothing I can do. I, I, I don't ever want to do anything to annoy or insult you. Look, I'm in a tight situation. Eh? Please, accept this good and uh, give me the loan. I'm a queer, man. A queer, man. Chimuba is your friend. And besides, he has already told you that he... Okay, no, man. I have been doing business with you. Have you ever, have you ever brought this kind of miserable and sickly good? If I ask you to bring a good. Have you? You have always met what I, uh, I require. Honest, I'm going to go. So why does he, does he want to come, come? And even the bottle of whiskey I have not seen. I said, one big goat, one bottle of original whiskey. Wasn't that what I said? What do you think? Hello? Ah, Akudo, my daughter. Eh? Eh? I'm really not sure, Papa. But how else am I supposed to see it? He's nowhere to be found and none of his phone numbers is reachable, Papa. Mbam, bam, 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 Akudo. Relax. Probably he is somewhere enjoying his money, squandering his hard earned money, which he has got every right to do because Nyaba. No, 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 no. Don't stress yourself so much. In fact, tell him that uh, I have secured that land, the piece of land where he's going to build a, a mansion uh, for me. Soon your, your father will be a very big uh, mansion owner. <laughs> yes. Uh, are you serious? 
Why Chibike cannot be missing now? Chibike is a man. He knows his way. All right, all right. Akudo, don't worry. Let me be trying his number. If I get him, I will call you back. You know, go. Ah, 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 relax. Okay? Thank you. I'm talking about my missing husband. He's there talking about mansion. Serious, Papa. Chumoba, take this thing home. When you are prepared, then you can now come back with a goat and a bottle of whiskey, which I have required. Apart from that, you can go to the mansion. But it's okay now, eh? I know a queer man. He will give you the money. All right, all right. Eh? Stop behaving like this now. Relax your mind, eh? eh? Let me go over to my house and get something. I'll see you later. Yeah? You shake this thing off now. Is it no money? A queer man will give you money. It's all right. Eh? Why is Ekweme so wicked? So wicked and so rigid? Huh? If I had known, I would have made that charm for his car to get accident anywhere, not just on Incha Road. Anyway, let me get that loan first from him. Ekweme. Huh? Oi! We shall see. We shall see. Things are about to change for the better for me and my family. Mm. My son, Alpha Mefula, mm. he was offered a very lucrative job in Enugu State. Mm. In fact, the company will give him a brand new car. Mm. Will also give him a big house. Mm -hmm. You know what? His salary for one month is enough to feed the entire village for mm. one month. Osama! Osama is following you, Wagase. If you tell this kind of lies, even in heaven, God will puke. <laughs> God will vomit straight away. The woman, do you think I'm lying? Mm -mm. You are telling the truth. No, Ozoma. your son is going to be the next president. <laughs> Ozoma, you think, um, are you serious by, uh, by saying, are you, do, do you mean what you are saying? You see, if after two months of starting work, Alpha Mayfula, my son, did not buy me a car, then you know I'm the king of all the liars. I will cry you now. She are mm. now. Mm. She don't need tomorrow. Mm. I will cry you here, king of all the liars, because it's not going to happen. It's serious. Sir. Don't worry. No. <laughs> Your son will be the next president. <laughs> no, not the <they> serious. 
Hey, one minute so that your head will be clear. Yeah, I will go. Mm. I go. I don't have a son. It is painful enough. But how I'm going to endure the humiliation of watching my friend's son become as successful as he boasts is something I cannot live with. And I cannot witness. <coughs> wow. Of a mother now, but you have to look where you have to go. You have to go to the house. You have to go to the house. You have to go to the house. You have What is it? Tell this God what you want and watch it come to pass. <laughs> but what exactly is in the God? This God could contain anything. It could be madness. It could even be death. Rest assured that nothing good comes out of this God for those you lock their destinies inside. That is excellent. <laughs> uh, but what if my friend tries to find out the source of whatever befalls his son from another native doctor or spiritualist? Chimwoba, the source of what afflicts your target can never be traced. What should worry you is keeping this God safe. Don't break this God. Don't allow this God to be broken. But what if it breaks? Okute. Okute. I remember asking you what will happen if that God breaks? And he said, there's nothing that cannot be fixed. Now see with what, the kind of situation I found myself. But, but you have yourself to blame. Huh? You have to have yourself to blame. If I had not made Afame full and bad, he would have probably married my daughter and probably bought me a car. But now, hi, is this how my daughter is going to end up? Is this how Oloma is going to end up insane? And I, hey, no, 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 no. I, I, I don't want to die. I must not, I cannot die for what somebody else has done. Eh. Okute where is Zenta? Your loan is supposed to expire two weeks ago. Anagana. Malaki. Period for your loan is expired. Anagana. Wow. 
Uh, Mazi, I greet you. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Mazi, I have come to see your daughter, to know how she and the unborn baby are doing. You are the young man that impregnated my daughter, right? <laughs> oh, Mazi, I bought her some provisions. And I can't wait to give her the good news that I have gotten a very good job in Port Harcourt. Um, Mazi, remember the broiler that came here with his father a long time ago? I recollected. I remembered. <laughs> that is his official car. Yeah? That's your car? <laughs> Mazi, this is my car. And you have a good job. God has been so great to me. And since I cannot afford what it takes to get married to your daughter, Mazi, I have come to make things happen. Really? <laughs> yes, Mazi. No, since you could not. You can now. This is wonderful. This is good news. Hmm. I have special up and wine. You will love it. Oh, uh, Mazi, no, 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 no. Um, where's Kendele? Kendele, I'm sure, will be very, very happy to see you. She will be very, very elated to see you. Uh, but I must complain something. You see that child that Kendele is carrying in her womb. That child is a glutton. They eat like no man business. They have finished every perishable good in my house. If you go to the, my kitchen store, there's nothing left there again. One <laughs> Oh, Mazi, Mazi, it is expected. It is expected. But not to worry. I'll take care of that. I'll take care of all the food. That, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. Uh, yes, Mazi, come, come, come. Definitely, I will come and see. Oh, yeah. oh, this uh, is America's peg, not Japanese. Igwe, <laughs> Igwe. Oh, Beautiful one. Let me show you the boots. See, you know that time I called you broiler, you misunderstood me. I saw you around you and it's like one spirit came to me and said, this man, this young man is going to grow fast. Pazzi, don't worry, call let me show you the boots. <laughs> You brought a whole supermarket. <laughs> what is not here? Eh? Ngaka. Ngaka. Ogo.
the door for me. <laughs> you are so much in a hurry. On aru aru. So why did you come here yesterday? Were well, you not know, the person who said I should bring a goat and a big goat and a bottle of whiskey? Uh, now we have uh, seen the parcel of land that we're going to use as collateral. Mm -hmm. Can we now sign the papers? Are we going to stand here and sign the papers? Oh, man. Can't we go inside? You will get your loan. Come on, behind me. We will lodge. Slow down. It will be signed. Come inside, sir. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go Chibike is nowhere to be found. It's a lie. So, Mazi, here are the documents you're going to sign. And then uh, there are some others you'll sign at the office tomorrow. Okay. Yes, after which the construction company will come over to the village and take over the job of erecting your magnificent edifice. You explain too much. You give me a pen. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> no, I don't want the job to be done by all those two penny laborers in the village now. Yes. You deserve the best. Where will I sign? Here. Right here. Sign here. Yes. Okay, and here. Again? Yes. Beautiful. So, you will well, start to end by the you just sign a condo for me? Oh, no, 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 no problem, sir. How? Marzi. My in law. Marzi. You are fantastic. <laughs> you are fantastic. Anything for my, my I own. want Anything. God to continue to give me this kind of in law. Amen. Wah, 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 wah. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Marzi, everything, anything for you. How? How? It can happen. How? What is all this? How? What is it? How? It cannot. How can? Are you saying they have searched everywhere? They haven't seen him? Yes, Papa. He cannot be now. He's a man. A man. Don't tell me this. Ekweme, come and sign the papers and let me have, have the money and go now. Uh -uh. I could do one hour for you to avoid such a thing. Look, if you don't want me to curse you and your entire generation, leave my house. Uh, let us sign the papers now. Uh, we are already at it. Leave my house. Go down, go down. Now leave my house. Won't you leave my house? Okay, tell me. No, wait. No, wait, wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. Ah! Are you done? Are you telling me the truth? What is this? What is this? Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since I realized that Papa didn't just sell me out when my husband promised to buy him a car. But has also been a bad influence on me, Mama. I decided to stay away from him. I didn't even know Loma is in such a condition. I thought it was one of Papa's plans to collect money from my husband again. I don't even know what to do with her. Eh? If I take her inside, the whole world will hear her scream. If I leave her outside here, everybody that comes will see her sitting here. So I don't know. Let's take her to the hospital, Mama. My daughter, that would have been a better idea. But where do we get money for that? Hmm? So, where is Papa now? Your father. He has been running around trying to raise money. He has tried to use my only, the only goat I have as a part of collateral to obtain loan from a woman. But all to no avail. Collateral? Ah. Uh, 
So Ekweme cannot give Papa money to take his own daughter to the hospital. Mom. So what kind of friends are they then? Kasa. Have fun. Have fun. Are you saying there's nothing else you can do to stop this? Okute, I don't want to die. Chumoba, you have just a few hours to live. You either bring that money for me to break the bond of death or you kill your daughter with your own hands. Chumoba, only her blood that. Take this. Jumoba, wipe her face with this. Her death is what will save your life. So, you want me to, to kill my own daughter? If you fail to do what you are asked to do before 12 noon today, I shall be at your funeral. I have been thinking about what you said, but... Uh... Mama, there is nothing to it. I mean, it's more than a coincidence that I got healed and Uluma gets afflicted on the same day, at the same moment. What are you saying? What I'm saying is that your father and my father are childhood friends. And it's so strange that their children get afflicted with a certain illness that is not in their lineage. And none of them deemed it necessary to take them to the hospital. Are you saying that my father is responsible for what Loma is passing through? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if my own father was responsible for what I went through. I mean, look at it. How could he not... I know Timba will be angry, but I have to take Uloma away. I have to give her proper attention. I won't let her suffer what I went through. But how do you intend to do that? Let's just... If you go, you probably... Sorry, excuse me. Hello? Yeah, this is our family for me. Eh? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, I will. I, I sure will. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Okay, bye. <laughs> yes, Mama. This is the best news ever. Uluma will get proper medical attention. I will take her to the hospital myself. Where will you get the money to do that? Mama, I've just been offered employment in Enugu. <laughs> I, I have some savings. We'll take care of her medication for now from that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, you thank will find okay. Hey. I'll take care of you. I'll make sure you are good. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Hi. Hey. This had better not be what I'm thinking. Nobody messes with me and get away with it. Oh my god, I'm going to tear them stones international into bits! Oh my god! What is wrong? What is all this? God, why did they put this this from the start? Why? <laughs> god! Oh. <clears throat> Who is that? Who's Amma? Where is your son? My son. Yes, your son. I've not set my eyes on him this morning. I have no idea when he left the house. I'm not talking of your destitute. I'm saying your son, Chibike. Chibike? Yes. The women, were you not the one that just came back from his house? And you're here asking me about Chibike? Uzama, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. My daughter said he's been missing for quite some time now. And none of his uh, phone, phone numbers is going through. I have tried myself. The women, 
I don't know what you're talking about. But if you and your daughter do not provide my son, the whole world will tell the story of how I skin both of your life. Uzoma, I cannot make my daughter a widow. I know your plans. You cannot throw away all my dreams just at the flip of your fingers. If you know, if your hand is in his disappearance, better open up now. <laughs> Ikweme, you are crazy. You have gone loco. How could you think that I, Uzoma, has a hand in my son's disappearance? Because I know you, Uzoma. You are jealous that the boy bought me a car. You are equally jealous that he wants to build a mansion for me. You can kill your son to deny me of all those benefits. Okay? I'm angry. Okay, man. Leave my house. Before I start to do something very, very ugly. Okay, leave my house. Look, let me tell you. Uzoma, leave my house. Uzoma, you see, because you're holding that thing. Uzoma, come back. Eh? Let me tell you. Stay here. Let me tell you, Uzoma. Amarachi! 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 Hey! Oroma! Oroma! Amarachi! Hey! Hey! This is a conspiracy. You are feeding Oroma from me. Who told him I wanted to kill her? I must find her. I must find her. Oh, God, did, you, did you see my wife? Did you see Oloma? Ah, I saw them heading towards the Where? express. Where? Hey, express? Yes. Hey. And they said they were taking uh, Oloma to a hospital in uh, Enugu. Enugu? Hey! I took one more. I took one more. Uh, uh, please, what's, what's your time? What's your time? I don't know if this is correct, though. But he says uh, 13 minutes after 11. Hey! What the one? Hey! I must get home. I must get home. I must get home. Hey! Jim Uba! Mama? Anna. She's tired. Now that we're already on the road, let's just wait a while and see if we can get a bus. No problem. It's okay. Mukasa, thank you very much. Thank you. And Mama, I think I'll just rush home now and see if my husband has any money. If he does, I'll add it to the one I have and I'll bring it to the hospital. Thank you. Hey, hey, Mama. Mama, you see what I've been telling you? I told you I want to take a farm to the hospital. How far? It's yeah. okay, my sister. You'll be daughter. fine, eh? Eh? Go, eh? Go and come back fast. You know? How far? You'll be fine. I will, I will take you to the hospital. That's okay. Oh, thank you. I'm not fine. I know. I could do. You know, I've been thinking. Thinking that there is a mistake somewhere. I could do. There must be a mistake somewhere. It's very, very obvious that God brought this young man to elevate our status. Isn't it obvious? I think our enemies are trying to bring us down. That is what I think. They are trying to toy with our destiny. But we will not agree. You still don't get it, Papa. I kept telling you that I did not know what Chibike does for a living. But you wouldn't do anything about it. Papa, as I speak to you right now, I don't have any single thing to show for my marriage. But don't say that. Don't say that. I know you're stressed. That's all right. You're stressed. Now, Akudu, you have a good mother, you have a good father. Your parents are caring. So don't stress yourself so much. And to show you that, I will sit down with your mother. We're going to get a phone. We must get it today. Even if we stay in a place where there's no service, we will inject service by induction. Do you understand? We must get it. If that one fails, I will personally travel to Anisha to fish him out. To him personal. Where have I gone wrong? What have I done to deserve all this? I try to be a good wife to him. A good do. We are not sure where your husband is or what has happened to him. Save the tears until we are certain of his condition. 
is very common with young marriages. You know, you want it this way, it goes the other way. That is what my, it's a very big and complex institution. Relax, your mother and your father here are going to pull you through. Hold them right in your face. You don't. <laughs> I can understand it. It's a young marriage. Don't worry. Hold them. Don't worry. We'll solve it. We'll solve it. <laughs> <laughs> We might stay here for the next two hours and still not get a ride to Enugu. It's the rain now. It could be the rain. But they will still come. The transport people, they will collect just wait a little more. But we just go back. Madam. Oh. Your husband is coming. Hi, my husband. Don't worry. I know he will be angry with you. But don't just worry. As soon as he gets over his stupid uh, uh, pride, he will understand what we are doing for us. Just keep calm. Yeah. Oh, you are a demon. You are a demon. Now, now you enemy of progress. Now kidnapping my daughter. I did not kidnap your daughter. I... Papa, well, I won't take her farm to the hospital. You should be appreciative of what this young man is doing for us. For bringing out his time and resources just to take care of your daughter. Eh? Come, get No, no, I'm going to... Get away from Get Nine. away from Nice. Hey. Hey, see what they have done to you. Hey. hey. <laughs> see what they have done to you, huh? Take her family to the hospital. Mm. Nah, we, we don't have time, eh? Let's take her to the hospital. Uh, but if anything happens to her, I will hold you and your mother responsible, right? Oh Who knows what time it is? No, nah, I didn't come out with my wrist watch. You. Why are you asking about you about about time? Eh? What happened to your watch? My watch has been bad for some time. You know we have to go and come back today. Uh, we have to come back today now. That's what I'm telling you. Hey! Hey, what is it? Hey. Oh! Hey! What? Hey! Kuruma, hey. see what you have done. Papa, what have I done? Hey! You what? have finished me! What has Uluma got to do with this down line? Eh? Uluma, if you had not broken that god in my room, Afam will still be, be, be mad instead of you carrying over the madness. Hey! I ask that God to finish your destiny and make Oyinye my puppet, yes. Hey! Night over. Why, 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 why Meshach's own did not work? I, I cannot understand. Hey. Night over. But I will not die. I must not die. No, I will not. Night. You're okay. Mama? Oluma? Hey. Hey. What is wrong with you? Hey. Ah. What is wrong with Papa? Jehovah! I'm Mr. Perry. I'm looking for Chief Ekweme. I was told this is his house. This is Ekweme's house. Mm -hmm. I am his wife. Oh, that's right. Uh, why don't we go inside? No, no, madam. I want to send him a message, okay? I will appreciate it if you can call him for me, okay? Ekweme! Ekweme! Uh, 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 please, come on. Come on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Mr. Pierre, what a surprise. I didn't know you were going to start the, the work so soon. But at least you should have informed me that you're coming to my house today so that I can prepare and welcome you well. Don't bother, ma. You're welcome. Chief Ekwe, man. Yes. Chief Executive Officer, Gemstone International. Oh, um, <laughs> The man whose mansion you have come to construct, courtesy of my son-in-law, GBK. Do I look like a building contractor to you? You knew quite well I deal on precious stones, don't you? Um, how would I know? Arrest him, officers. No, no, for what? We are. He defrauded me and my associate the sum of 10 million US dollars. I'll be here. I'll be here. When? How? Where? Where are you not the same person that came to my hotel room? 
You signed those documents that you're gonna supply me with those precious, so didn't you? No, 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 no. The contract I signed was for you to come and construct a mansion. That was what Chibike told me. I came and I, I, I said it. <laughs> you're a criminal and a froster. Okay. It's like you're misunderstanding the issue. Oga, did you sign any document? I did. Did you read it before signing it? Why would I read it? This is Chibike, my, my son in law. I trusted him so much. So I just, he just said, go there and sign. And I went there and I signed. What are you guys going to buy? Listen, Charlie, Charlie, Samantha, why you? Why you? You better remain silent. Charlie, Charlie, can we talk it to him? Please, please, please. Go inside the car. Most inside the car. I've got a bottle of beer. Look at what he's saying. I'm going to inside the bottle of beer. Don't drag me. I'm going to come inside the bottle of beer. Officer, please. Charlie, why you? Officer, please. Officer, please. Officer, please. Officer, please. Officer, please. Officer, please. Oh, no. 